Welcome back, Portal Masters. I am SEO Matt, and we are back with live unboxings. Um, and I say that plural because we have a lot of unboxings to get through. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through them all today, um, but we're going to get started. That's for sure. So, Tree Wrecker, thanks for joining the stream already. Polly, hello. I think that's a new face. I don't recognize that name. Um, so, as many of you know, I've been on vacation for a little while, and um, I am ready to get back into Skylander stuff. And I, I just last night packed up all the orders that came in while I was on vacation for about two weeks. It was a lot of orders. I was kind of surprised by how, how many orders came in while I was gone. Um, but that's awesome. I love it. I love to see that that the shop is out there. The shop is uh, something you folks enjoy. And um, we're going to start restocking that shop now. So um, I have a bunch of boxes to unlock. Unbox, unlock. Sure, unlock. Yeah, it's a video game, right? And the the best part about these boxes, I feel, is that I don't even remember what's supposed to be in these boxes. Usually I order these lots and and they show up, you know, three to five days later. And I have a pretty good idea what's supposed to be in them. Some of these I ordered two to three weeks ago. And I don't remember what's it like. And and I have so many boxes here. Like I could probably sort them out and and line them up with order numbers and who sent what and where they came from and figure out what's supposed to be in each lot. But I I'm not gonna do that. It's going to be a lot more fun for all of us together to go through these boxes and uh, figure out what's going on, see what we've got for the shop. So, yes, yeah, sevenfold, welcome back, welcome back. Um, the first box we are going through is going to be the biggest box. I'm going to try to do some of the biggest ones first. Um, I don't think I'm going to get through all of the boxes I have right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to get through some of the bigger ones, get them up in the shop, and then we'll see. Maybe... If I I have um, some some time after getting these first few boxes unpacked up in the shop that we can uh, unbox more maybe later tonight or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Polly, my favorite Skylander is Camo. My boy Camo up here. He, he's, he's my number one for sure. All right. So this first box... Uh, this is the like 25 pound box. It's the behemoth this time. I'm, I'm a little worried about it because the box itself, um, it's bulging at the sides. The corners are a little bit bashed in. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. Um, I can tell you right now, there is zero packing material in here, which I always say, don't do that. Don't do that. Always, always fill the box with whatever material. I mean, old paper, paper towels. We've had uh, newspaper, whatever you got just laying around. Fill up that space because that's going to help with shipping. Yes, Tree Wrecker, I did enjoy my break. I'm glad you enjoy the streams and they will be back on a regular basis now for sure. Um, so, yeah, let's dive in here and see the first first man in every lot. I'm telling you. What's a lot without a tree rex? So there we go. Get him out of the way. Hope there's not too many more of those in this lot, but we'll find out. All right. Uh, we got a high volt. So we got some superchargers action going on here. We got a series three Gil Grunt. Anchors away, Gil Grunt. Ethan, welcome back. Welcome back. Chris. Shocks, everybody coming back here. Yeah, Chris, I the, the Skylanders at the bottom being crushed. Thankfully, that hasn't really happened much. I mean, I, I've gotten some pretty big boxes of stuff, and they 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 hang in there pretty well. Let's put let's put that back. Um Scorp, welcome back, welcome back, Maxon. 
<laughs> one spot a lot with five tree rex i've had some of those for sure yeah they I, like i try to avoid them but once in a while if the rest of the lot is good enough well you get five tree rex all right we got blaster mind everybody knows about blaster mind and his abilities and right alongside blaster mind we have enigma Here's one we haven't had in the lot in the shop for uh, well, I, if you I, we haven't had it in the shop for so long. The, sh the shop's only been open for a month. I mean, is it really that long? I don't know. Scorpification was amazing. I I needed it very much and uh, had had a lot of fun while I was gone. Some senseis for you. <laughs> yeah yeah my senses got pretty well wiped out um I, I i don't know if they're like i said i really don't remember what's going to be in this lot because it's been so long ago and i think looking at this right now i think this is a lot that didn't have great pictures online and so i saw a few things that i wanted and then the rest of it was kind of i'm not entirely sure what's in this lot so we'll find out all right, we got some vehicles. We got the Sea Shadow. This is one of my favorites. And we have the Empire of Ice. Original SSA uh, adventure pack there. Moving back to Superchargers, we have Lava Lance Eruptor. I said with a lot of these, but one of the things that has surprised me the most has been... Um, the superchargers and how well they sell. So we'll see. <laughs> Seven folds going for them as well. Oh boy. Well, here's one for you guys to fight over. We have a flare wolf. Don't know if anyone's in the market for that, but that's our first imaginator. So that tells me there are imaginators in this lot. So we'll see what else we can pull out of here. Next, we have a gear shift. It's another one I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Hope there's a Crip Crusher. Oh, you do like the Flare Wolf? Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, we have Series 4 Gil Grunt, the only Series 4 figure in the entire series. So that's, uh, what was it, Tidal Wave Gil Grunt? Here we have a legendary Bone Bash Roller Brawl with the infamous pink eye. All right, what else, what else, what else? We have Torch. Solid little trap team figure. We have a Shield Striker. Vehicle to go along with High Volt we just pulled out before. And we have a Thunderbolt. Another solid Trap Master. Keeping along those Trap Master lines, we have Wildfire. Not my favorite, but a lot of people seem to like him. And his fire friend, Kaboom. Are there any light cores? I, I honestly don't know. Um, we haven't run across any yet, but I'll be sure to call them out as they come along if we, if we get any. Torch is underrated. Torch's arm looked bent, did it? Where'd she go? I mean, that, that's, I think that's just the way the figure, I have not, now you're making me second guess things. I have to go back and question. But no, I think that's just the way the figure is posed. Like, yeah, her arm's kind of back like this, but like, I can't, it, it doesn't look bent um, other than from the pose. When is the Scorp figure focus? Well, I can tell you it's not going to be for a while because I have to get through SSA and giants before we get into swap force where we'll be doing scorp so 
<laughs> wildfire has ears interesting yeah I, I i probably haven't looked that closely but i'll take your word for it all right um we have the top half of rattleshake so he gets set to the side for now we have a series two flame slinger one of my favorite core characters there we have a chaos trophy so this is from superchargers if you want to race as chaos and that type of thing you need that chaos trophy and then we have the longest name ever birthday bash big bubble pop fizz official name i did not make that up continuing on we have a top half of trap shadow set that to the side we have a series two sonic boom i've been getting a lot of series one but haven't seen series two with the little baby down here in a while so series two if anybody needs that yet all right this box is falling apart because i didn't cut it correctly so get that out of the way all right uh here's one from a buddy scorp 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 and of course like i said we have some imaginators so there is kingpin did i ever meet skylander boy and girl no i i have not met them at all um i mean i i, I appreciate what they did for skylanders they they definitely gave him some more attention and got people interested, but um, yeah, I I mean, I mean their their videos just aren't my style of what I like to watch, but there's nothing necessarily wrong with them. I I mean, I, I don't know them personally to really judge them. How many hours am I on? Uh, it depends how long it takes me to unbox this stuff. I mean, it, this I'm guessing this video right now will be. Because I'm going to try to get through the two biggest lots right now. Um, and then I will do my normal testing um, testing and resetting. I'll do that live. And then I'll jump off and get them up in the shop. So I would say pro I'm probably looking at least three hours, but I don't know for sure. Polly, once again, we'll find out. Um, there haven't been any others besides Tree Rex so far, but... I, I would say there's a good chance there will be. All right. Um, we have... <laughs> oh, that was a weird grab. Uh, we got Spitfire. And then two food fights. So a couple Star Pack figures there. Get them out of the way. Got another Trap Master. One of my favorites in Lobstar. A rarity for me because I don't usually like the water characters, but all right. So we're gonna be piecing together <laughs> swap forest members all day. So you got top half of Hoot Loop, bottom half of Spy Rise. I see one here we can complete and get it out of the way. There is the bottom half of Rattle Shake. So we'll get that out. Got snapshot there. More starter pack. Oh, watch hours, watch hours. Yes, um, we are getting there. Uh, so we're at around 3,300, 3,300. Um, so we're not quite at 4K yet, but we are getting very close. Um, I'm hoping with all the live streams that I, I, I have planned for this week, um, just with the unboxings and stuff, I'm I'm hoping we can we can hit that 4K this week. Uh, Torch's arm isn't been still positioned the wrong way. Fire is facing downward. I'm Chris. I I'm seriously gonna have to compare that to my other torch figures. I I have a bunch of other torch figures in the shop right now. Um, I'm gonna have to take a look at it. I mean, if there is actually something wrong with it, that that could be interesting. Or I mean, factory error or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll have to. Uh, I'll check that out. You know what? Here, I'm. I'm actually gonna set that to the side so I like remember to look at that later. Because the more I look at the figure now, like it does look kind of weird. But we'll see. We'll see. 
do I like frogs? Um, I don't know. Not really. <laughs> I it, like, I'm not a big animal guy in general. I, I mean, I have nothing against frogs, but I don't really, I'm not, I don't, I don't want one as a pet. Hi, Chad. I uh, love my website. Thank you very, th very much. Yes. Um, the website is the whole reason I'm here. <laughs> Started out just as a, a collector's thing and then uh, has morphed into so much more since then. So, all right, uh, we got the bottom half of Gorilla Drilla and then our first damaged figure, as far as I know. Uh, we have a one arm prism break. So, this is series one prism break, um, but that's gonna go in our damage pile and I. His arm could be in here, I guess, but there's so much left in this box. I'm not going to find it right now. All right. Here is our first big, big figure. Uh, probably one of the biggest reasons I bought this lot. We have an original Thrillipede. Not the egg-sighted Thrillipede. This is the real deal, the hard to find. Here it is, Thrillipede. So, yeah, um, this will be going up in the shop. I, I have mine already for my collection, so this will be available in the shop later today. And to go right along with that, it looks like we do indeed have Buzzwing. So this is one of my favorite vehicles. For anybody who doesn't know, there's a little button on here that makes the wings flap. So Buzzwing, one of the best vehicles out there, in my opinion. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And then just the functionality is awesome. So we have a Buzzwing and a Thrillipede. So if anybody missed out on that pair, we got it. I have the cheese skyline in the background, the rest of them all. Yes. For anybody who doesn't know, I'm a big fan of the Green Bay Packers, um, and that is my cheese head back there. All right. Whoa, dropping stuff here. Got the little battle hammer, a uh, magic item from Swap Force. We have a Series 2 Cinder. That's another starter pack figure. And then we have the, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm going to have to take a closer look at this one. Um, we have a Big Bubble Pop Fizz, the standard version. We had the variant already. Uh, the, if you can see here, the, the peg seems to be coming out of the base at the foot there. Uh, I'll, I'll see how loose that actually is or if that's still attached. This may go in the damage pile. Um, so if anybody... I. Like, it's not really damaged, but I, I, I just have a hard time selling anything that doesn't quite look like it came out of the, the factory. So um, we'll see how that goes. We'll set him aside for now and check out that later. Chad, you're going to buy that later today. I'm assuming that's probably the Thrillipede. <laughs> What's my opinion on a high five? Um, I haven't played with him a lot. I like the figure design okay, but not not one of my favorites. Lax Repos, welcome back. Oscar, how are you doing? You have that issue with your crash figure. Uh yeah, the pegs coming out of the base. Yeah, I, like it's it, it's not a not a huge thing. Um but I I'll take a look at it and make a final decision later on. All right, we have the Nightmare Express level pack from Trap Team. We played through that on one of our live streams recently. Uh, we have the top half of Blast Zone. Set that to the side. Oh, boy. I don't know that this was in the pictures. Um, so, yeah, like I said, the Thrillipede, I think, is the main reason I bought this lot. I just got something even better. 
Anybody recognize this little guy? This is the event exclusive, the E3 bronze color shift hot dog, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this is, I've never seen one of these in person. Um, yeah, wow. I was not expecting this in this lot. <laughs> this is a big surprise. Um, yeah. Wow. 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 I, I, I don't know what to say. This is like the first big surprise for me. Um, cause I legitimately, I like the Thrillipede I remember seeing, I do not remember seeing this in any pictures. I, I mean, like I said, the pictures weren't great for this lot, but I, mm, I don't know. I, 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 this would be one that if I wanted to keep it for my collection, I would probably want it in like new in box. And so most likely, don't quote me on this, but most likely I will be selling this. Um, price, I, I really don't know. I wasn't expecting to get this. I haven't done my research on this figure. Um, I, I, I don't know what it's going to be listed for, but yeah, I mean, that, that is awesome there. Um, wow. Yeah, this looks good. I, I like that a lot. Um, that's going, that's going up here, place of honor. So I can stare at that all day. <laughs> that, that is, that is amazing. Oh man. There, there you go. Here we, we, we can, we, we can set it up here for now. Oh, that's out of frame. Never mind. I'm going to set it over here so I can keep looking at it and keep smiling at it. All right. Um, what if it's fake? I no, no. So th this is something I talked about recently in one of my other videos. Um, oh, it was with, in the boomer figure focus. So I was talking about it like the, the early ones, the, the silver and gold chase variants, those were fairly easy to fake one simple color, you know, pick up your paint in, in any store can of spray paint or whatever. Um, not a big deal, but the, the, the paint they started using in later years, this it, it's a bit more exotic paint. It's it kind of color shift. It, it it's it's not as easy to find it's not as easy to get your hands on it's a lot harder to fake i this this is not a fake um the the other key is that like the eyes are like perfectly done um to the point where i mean you, you would really have to be <laughs> on top of your game i think to to fake this um yeah, it. I yeah, I, I, we, we, th that's one we 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 can actually kind of check in in um in game later on. See that it pops up as special. Um, we'll we'll double check that when we run through. Yep, yep. There you go. Exactly. Uh, will the Nightmare Express be on sale? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Um. Uh, Every, Chad, everything that you see here today should be on sale um, with the exce possible exception of things like this hot dog um, that that I might not have in my collection right now that I wasn't expecting in this lot. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that all sorted out. But you can expect everything else to be um, listed. Oh, boy. Uh, th this doesn't bode well as we get down further in this box. Um, so here is a Nitro Head Rush. Missing the base. Uh, we'll see if we can find the base. <laughs> like, I... that That's interesting. All right. Uh, that goes in the damage pile. 
All right, we got a dark light crypt going on here. We have a bunch more figures. Polly, you were asking about other giants. Here is Crusher. And another variant. Um, Spring Ahead Dive Bomber. There we go. Spring Ahead Dive Bomber. It's a little scuffed up here and there, but it'll do all right. Uh, we have Mega Ram Spyro. Uh, so this is Series 3 from Swap Force. And we have a Water Trophy from Superchargers. We had the Chaos Trophy already. There's the Water Trophy to go along with it. When does the Series 2 Gil Grunt come up on the website? I... I had a series two. I think I sold it recently, but um, yeah. Jojo. Yeah. Um, this was the big surprise. I wasn't even expecting this. The E3 hot dog. Um, that was a big surprise there. I've also pulled out a, a, a standard Thrillipede, not the variant version, the original version of Thrillipede and his vehicle Buzzwing. So that's, that's been really cool. Yeah, I mean, packaged so dangerously in here. I mean, thankfully, Hot Dog's a pretty solid figure, so it's not going to break, really. Um, but, I mean, it just looks good. I mean, like, a lot of these, you know, used figures get scuffed up and stuff, and th this figure actually looks pretty good. Like, it, it doesn't look like it's been uh, beat up too much. I, yeah, maybe maybe we'll get another legendary stuff in here. We we did get the legendary uh, Bone Bash Roller Brawl, so there could be other legendary stuff in here. Um, found Echo on eBay for twenty pounds. Nicely done. All right, is legendary blades rare? I mean, not super rare, but it's it's um. I mean, more rare than the regular version. <laughs> Tell that your hot dog's broken tail. Well, this hot dog does not have a broken tail. I guess if anything's going to break off, that's going to be it. But yeah. All right. We got a Riptide. We have a glow in the dark Sonic Boom. And like I've, I've told you before, like, I don't know if you can see this. If anybody has glow and dark figures at home, these get so dirty just from people like touching them. And of course, even more so from being stuffed in a box with other Skylanders, all the other colors are just going to rub off on it. It's kind of unfortunate, but that's just what happens with these figures. So I don't, I don't even consider that like damaged or like I'll still sell this as is. Um, I can't really clean it up without rubbing off too much the glow and dark stuff so but yeah that's a series two glow in the dark sonic boom uh hey speaking of series two gil grunt how about a metallic green series two gil grunt this is one uh ha have we had this in the shop yet i don't, I don't think we did but to go along with that, I have the top half of Metallic Green Wash Buckler. We just had one of these recently. I know it's sold, but um, hopefully we have the bottom half of this to go along with it. So we'll set that to the side for now. And we have a Series 2 Igniter. So that's always good. Hope there's a Series 1 Sonic Boom, Polly. I, I can tell you I have plenty of Series 1 Sonic Boom in, in the shop if that's something you're looking for. How much for the Sonic Boom, uh, the Glow in the Dark? I I don't know offhand because we don't have that one in the shop right now. I can tell you that's one of the more common um, 
glow in the dark figures. So it won't be too much. It I, I would imagine it's not going to be more than five bucks. It should be under five bucks probably. All right. We got a long way to go through this box yet. So I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit here. Um, but we got, here's a, here's a light core. Polly, you were asking about light cores as well. This is a light core uh, prison break. We got our first mini. We got mini Gil Runt. So this is the mini with the red base from Trap Team. We have Lava Barf Eruptor. So Series 3 Eruptor from Swap Force. And we have Hot Streak. Saw Spitfire before, so Hot Streak is no big surprise there. Um, we also have our first trap. So we have a Tech Tiki trap. Tech Tiki. If Skylanders returned, would I like figures or cards? I would absolutely love figures. If if cards is all we get, I will take cards gladly. Um, just to get any kind of return. Like I said, I, I would take an all digital return, honestly. But figures would be my number one choice for sure. How often do lots from EA come with the trading cards? Um, occasionally, a lot of people have thrown them out. Um, if it's parents selling off their kids' collections, they don't even know they go together most of the time. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I did get one lot earlier that had some cards, but they're usually pretty beat up because they, they weren't treating them as collectibles. The kids would just play with them or they'd get shoved in a box somewhere and they're just not in, in good condition. So I, if, in, if you, that'd be another thing, like if you're interested in them, we can talk, but I'm probably not going to ever list them on the site. Hope there's a Blastertron. Possibly, possibly. <laughs> lava barf lava doesn't actually barf lava, yes. Uh, will a bug guy from Supercharged be under $25? You can actually go check on the site right now. Um, that's a standard figure. I have a price for it up there. So skylanderscharacterlist.com slash shop. Go check it out. Um, it, yeah, search for Thrill P over there. I, 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 my gut says I have Thrill P listed for twenty five. I think, but I could be wrong on that. But yeah, twenty five sounds about right. But whatever price is up there, that that's what it'll be listed for. Oscar, I, I, I seriously don't know. I don't know when a series two Gil Grant will be coming up on the website. Like I said, I had I had one up there last week, but it, it sold. So you just gotta keep an eye out, keep watching these these videos, and to see when they come up. How do I store my Skylanders? Uh, the, yeah, the the ones that are um, for sale, they get sorted by game, they get put in boxes, um, and then put on a shelf. Yeah, um, but not n not boxes like this. I, I don't just dump them in large boxes and have to dig through them later. They're all sorted neatly by, by figure. Um, I, I, I can probably show you guys that sometime later, but um, yeah. Oh, there you go. I have Thrill P for 30, apparently. <laughs> I That's actually higher than I thought, but maybe that means he's listed higher. Um if you guys think that price is way out of line with what he's selling for elsewhere, let me know, and and I I, I might have to adjust that. But um, like I said, I, I prices are gonna change from time to time, and and I will try to keep up with them. But there's only so much I can do. Like I said, I had, that that was what I would have charged when I first made the site a month ago, but maybe he's he's going for less now. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we have a Shark Shooter Terrafin from Superchargers there. We have another starter pack figure in Series 1 Jetvac. No big shakes. Have a magic item, the Dragonfire Cannon. 
This is from Giants. And we have Slobbertooth from Swap Force. All right. What else? What else? What else? Okay, we have two mismatched tabs. Um, so top half of Fire Kraken. We'll take that off and put it with there is our blast zone. We have a water angel trap. There you go. Water angel. Still, this was early release. We got the, the blue actually still in the trap there. We have Pirate Seas, another adventure pack piece from um, SSA, Spires Adventure. And we have the Jet Stream. This was Jetvac's vehicle in Superchargers. Hey, 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 did I just see something about Bop? Because look at that. We do indeed have Bop. So, Polly, there you go. Wish comes true. We have Bop. All right, we also have a Series 3 Stealth Elf. Once again, another starter pack figure. And the top half of uh, Magna Charge. Hopefully we start finding some of these matches soon. Find a lot of halves that don't match. All right, uh, we got Frightful Fiesta. This was the Halloween variant from um, Superchargers there. That's that's always a nice looking figure there. I thought that was a good variant to throw in there. Made a lot of sense. And here we do have the bottom half. So we have ourselves a full Magna Charge. All right. And we also have another half, the bottom half of Rebel Rouser. Man, I have three bottom halves and four top halves still laying around here. All right. We have ourselves a Sky Diamond. We got the first one of these for the shop um, before I left on vacation. Now oh, there's a second one. We have, uh-oh, 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 damaged, damaged. Series 2... Double Trouble, uh, his staff right here is missing. The top half of the staff. Can't say that's one I've seen before. Like, it, it doesn't even really look like it's broken that badly. Almost looks like it was intentional. Man. But yeah, uh, that's damage figure. Off to the side. Uh, another legendary. Legendary Hurricane Jetvac. <laughs> why are there so many rares in this lot I, I it was a good lot man more broken figures shoot okay um let's get this out first the time twister let's get that name right i think time twister ssa magic item and the uh sky slicer wow sky slicer that was Stormblade's vehicle And then, unfortunately, imagine uh, uh, igniter. Um, this is another weird one. The top half of igniter, because we all know igniter was a swap force member. I mean, you can see it there. It was a, it was a clean break where where it got pegged into the bottom half. Um, that actually looks pretty cool, though. Like, I wish there was something more I could do with that. I wish I wish I was more of a customizer. Um, yeah what what do i do with the broken figures i mean i i keep i have a whole box of broken figures 
um, every once in a while I, I, I post about them and say, Hey, if anybody wants these, let me know. Um, I'm not planning on putting in them on the site right now. I might put a like bulk lot of them on eBay or something. That might be the easiest, easiest place to go about it. Um, I don't know. That's something I want to list on my site on a regular basis though. All right. Continuing on, we maybe, maybe halfway through this box. <laughs> um, there's a lot in this box and the way it's settled, it's hard to say how far along I am. Um, all right. Here is another lava bar for Ruptor. This one's base is a little bit more beat up. Don't really, I'm not thrilled about that, but um, I, I, I do sell these as used figures, so it, it'll probably get sold yet. We have a soda skimmer. You know, the vehicles, people like those a lot. Like I said, they've been selling a lot better than I imagined. We have Legendary Bouncer. So there's another giant, if you like variant figures. Got Legendary Bouncer. And here is the Golden Dragonfire Cannon. So we had the standard version before. But um, this is... The the variant version, I believe, at least in the U.S., it was a GameStop exclusive, if I recall. It's been a while since I've dealt with this one, but yeah, the Golden Dragonfire Cannon was that variant version. All right, there is our Series One Gil Grunt starter pack. Get him out of here. Uh, we have the. Bottom half of, I believe this is Legendary Night Shift. So set that to the side. Hope that comes up later. And here is a uh, Big Bubble Pop Fizz from Superchargers. That one seems to be just fine. So he can go in the good pile. All right. We have Ninjini here. Her swords actually look a little bit warped there. <laughs> um, th this happens a lot with characters that have swords, though. Thin plastic swords. So, I mean, it's unfortunate, but we'll still sell her. We got our Series 1 Spyro to go along with the Gil Grunt. We got Golden Queen. We had Kingpin before, so no big surprise there. We have the hidden treasure magic item from SSA. <laughs> I I'm working on the senseis, Ethan. I'm working on the senseis. Jadberry favorite movies? I that's a good question. I I don't know. I don't have time for movies nowadays. Um, let's see what what we have watched recently. And I like I I'm a boring old guy now. I watch a lot of documentaries. I mean, given they're they're usually documentaries about like toys, but yeah, I I don't know. I, um, I like Harry Potter. I have no problem with that. What happens to the Skylanders in the bad pile? I I always tell people like I I have these broken Skylanders. If anyone's interested, get a hold of me. No one ever gets in contact with me. Um, um, but if you're interested in them, let me know. And like I said, I, I will sell them dirt cheap. Um, generally, I need to cover the cost of shipping and probably like a dollar a figure after that, or maybe 50 cents a figure, depending on how many you're buying. You know, um, like I, I'm not going to charge an arm and a leg for them. They're broken. The, the, like I, I'm not going to be able to sell them um, any other way. Like, they're, they're just going to go in a broken lot somewhere. So. All right. Um, speaking of Thrillipede, we had the original, but we do also have Excited. So whoever had this lot, I think, was somewhat of a collector um, getting both versions there. All right. 
We have S1 Pop Fizz Series One from Giants, along with his one of his first variants, Punch Pop Fizz. This was the 3DS starter pack figure. And Polly, you asked for it. We got it. There is Series One Sonic Boom. Got another one there. We also have a Series One Wrecking Ball. And oh, look what we found. Anyone recognize this? This should be the missing arm of how does it fit? There we go. Our series one prison break there. So this is still gonna be in the damage pile, but if anybody's looking to buy it, I do actually have the arm to go with it. So you can, you, you can reattach it if you want, like, but I'm still selling it as broken because I don't wanna I don't want anyone to be in for a nasty surprise. So Rich Nolan had E3 Bronze Hot Dog just, just now called him a collector. That, that, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Yeah. Most people aren't. Like, that's not something you just run across accidentally. Oh, I like that. Prism broke. Prism broke. Yes. Well done, JoJo. All right. We have our water tiki trap. Another starter pack there. And we have... Top half of Doomstone. This is one I really hope we have the bottom half of. Um, but my my stack of halves is growing rapidly. All right. The good news is, looking in the box, I do see some more Imaginators in there. Some more Senseis. So we'll, we'll get there. Um, they're not in my hands right now. But we have the Splatter Splasher Splats vehicle there. Uh, we have another bottom half of uh, Free Ranger. We got an Earth Hourglass Trap. That's nice. Uh, Hourglass is one of my favorite molds there. And we do have the Stealth Stinger from uh, Superchargers. That is Stealth House Vehicle. Set those to the side. All right, everybody's favorite sensei, Kingpin. Did we already have a Kingpin? I feel like we did. Maybe I'm just making things up now. All right. Uh, oh. So maybe we don't have Legendary, because here is the Hand of Fate standard version. Um. It's up, but we did say there are collectors. Sometimes they have multiple versions. Uh, we got the Tech Scepter Trap. As well as a Life Toucan. Uh, this is one we're going to have to double check for sure to see if it's uh, the... Um, wow. Uh, Steamed broccoli guy, I believe, was in the Life Toucan, possibly. All right, we got another snapshot. I know we've had one of him already. And we do have the bottom half of Igniter. Um, so, yeah, this is a, a Series 2 Igniter. That we can put back together, but like I said, I, I, I'm selling it as broken, um, because yeah, I, I, I'm, it is it, like you, you once again, you could easily glue this back together, and and have a really cheap figure there, um, but that goes in the broken pile. All right, we have deep dive Gil Grunt, superchargers Gil Grunt. Almost to Series 5. But they decided to change their naming scheme and such. Um, we have Countdown. Original Countdown there. And Series 3 Stealth Elf. 
Yeah, Jackcraft. I, I I don't know if you you were here for the the earlier video, um, but we we, we had a, a slam bam that split in the middle like that as well. But I think the pegs in the middle are a different size, so I don't think they'd really play well together. Are we talking standard Thrillipede for ten bucks? Absolutely. I mean, if we're talking egg sighted Thrillipede, the variant version, that's probably what I would expect to pay. But oh, yeah, if it, if it's the normal one for ten bucks, absolutely take that thing. One hundred percent. I don't think I, I I don't think you're ever gonna find a better deal on that. All right. Oh, ouch. Um, well, we have a no arm jawbreaker. Call him arm breaker, I guess. But yeah. Uh, that that goes in the damage pile. Wow. I mean, those aren't necessarily thin joints. You almost have to try to break those, I would think. Yikes. Uh, we got another hidden treasure. Uh, we got a Series 1... Roller Brawl. Have a Series 1 Zap. And a Series 1 Warnado. There it is. There it is. Um, bottom half. We do have a full Doomstone. So he will be back in, in, in uh, stock there shortly. We just had Countdown, but this is our first... Uh, dropping stuff again. Kickoff Countdown. The variant version. Kickoff Countdown. Anybody who's a fan of soccer or football? If you're over in... Europe or anywhere outside the U.S. really. Um, top half of Gorilla Drilla. I, oh, so, someone's been looking for this. I forget who it is now. Um, oh, maybe it was Yoshi. I don't think he's here. Um, but yeah, we have Gorilla Drilla back in stock. There is another Series 1 Wrecking Ball. Got ourselves a burn cycle. Another solid vehicle, except I, th this is one that always amuses me that people like don't know what it is. And like, I get it. Like it only really has one wheel here. Maybe two of you call the split here, but I can't tell you how many pictures I've seen where it's standing upright like this, like a rocket ready to take off. Like I get it. I get it, but that tells me you don't know what this is. All right, we have Funny Bone and another mini, or no, no, Sidekick. Sidekick, orange base here. So Sidekick Barkley. Uh, this is one I don't know if we've had it in the shop yet. All right. Does Series 2 Spyro have a Dark Edition? No, it does not, Chris. It was already weird that they made, uh, um, that they turned, made Series 3 dark as well, but Series 2 does not have a dark, just Series 1 and Series 3. Should you get the Echo you found for 20 pounds? I... I mean, if you need Echo, I would. I mean, you you know, when I get my hands on Echo, I'm charging 50 bucks because they're, they're going for a lot more than that right now. 
Um, so 20 pounds, I think I'm converting to us. I think that's probably around like $30 or so. Maybe. All right. Uh, Brian, welcome. Welcome. All right. Series two has the best spiral pose. I, I, I could get on board with that. Yeah. Pikazilla, welcome to stream. All right. See what else we can dig out of here. We have a series one uh, drill sergeant who's missing a little bit of paint on the eye, but I guess that happens. Or, hmm, yeah. Actually, did someone try to paint the eyes? I don't know. It looks a little weird. It's been a while since I've had a series one. Could just be me. Uh, we have a bottom half of Boom Jet. So that goes in the half pile again. Chandler, welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Quick recap for, for those of you who are just joining. Um, I would say th th there have been a lot of fun items in here. I think everybody can agree with that. There are three things that I've never had in a lot before that I've never seen in the shop before. Uh, the first one I pulled was the regular version of Thrillipede. Um, not the excited variant version that are, that's all over the place. We did get a regular version of Thrillipede along with his vehicle, the Buzzwing. So we have Thrillipede and Buzzwing. Those will be going in the shop. And then the big surprise that I was not expecting was this guy right here. So this is the E3 special bronze hot dog back from Giants era. Um... I, I was not expecting to get this in this lot. I said, I right now I'm thinking I'm probably going to put it in the shop uh, because if I have that figure in my collection, I'm probably going to want it new in box. Um, so that will probably be going in the shop. I don't know what I'm going to charge for it yet because I have not done my research on that figure, but keep an eye out for it. It'll be up there later today if I put it up there. So, moving on, we have Series 1 Terrafin. We have a bottom half, bottom half, which matches. There we go, we have Hoot Loop. We do have Hoot Loop. We have another mini, Hijinx. So, if anyone's a Hex fan out there, there's your mini figure. And, hey... Hey, Imaginators, Sensei Alert, Sensei Alert. I need some something to pop up on the screen, Sensei Alert. Here's a Tide Pool. This is one we haven't seen too often. I kind of like how this figure turned out. Um, I wasn't a big fan of like the, the gold or copper scales here, uh, 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 but it works. It works. I, I appreciate the green hair and the like the the coloring of the squids as the guns, like it all works out very well. But yeah, there is a tide pool. <laughs> um, uh, yes, Ethan, I know you're you're super excited about that. And for for anyone that that has shopped in the shop before, you know I don't put names on any product. I just list everything on the site, and it's first first come first serve. Um. I let you know when I update it over on Twitter. I'll let everybody know when the store has been updated, but past that, I don't reserve any figures for anybody. So it's up to you. All right. We have a Bumble Blast, Series 1 Bumble Blast. It's just the regular version, not the light core. We have Eyebrawl. There's another giant. And we have another magic item. The Fiery Forge. So this was in Swap Force. Fiery Forge. I believe that was just a battle arena. All right. Um, I need to do some quick rearranging here. 
So excuse me for a moment. Been running out of table space rapidly. All right, so this box. Down this way. All right, gives me some more table space. I'm still going to run out of table space. I know it, but I can work with this for now. And uh, I may have to adjust again when we're done with this box. Um, have I ever gotten the SSA portal with the USB dongle? I, I don't have any of those right now. I mean, I, I sell all the portals I get in these lots um, because I, I have no need for them. I have all the portals I'll ever need. Um, but I do not currently have a wireless SSA portal. Kitty, yes, I did have a good break. It was awesome. Thank you, thank you. Jojo, so I'm still in box one. Um, I, I said I'm going to work through the two biggest boxes that I have right now um, and then test all them and get them up, up in the shop and then um, proceed through the other boxes either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, I currently have, including this box, when I got home, I had eight boxes waiting for me. <laughs> um, like I said, the other ones are, are, are on the smaller side, um, but eight boxes, um, two really big ones, and then and, and then some smaller ones to go along with them. But um, so yeah, it, it it's gonna take a while. How much did I pay for this lot? That's a good question. I. I want to say, I mean, it, it was a few hundred dollars. Um, somewhere, I part of me says this was only two hundred, but that seems too low now, with how much is in here. So it might have been three or four hundred. I'd have to look it up again. Uh, get any trap masters, Wix? Y yes, I have. Uh, so far. I, I can't say this is all of them. I, I, I can see Blaster Mind, Enigma, uh, I mean, Snapshot, Wildfire, um, Kaboom. Yeah, th th there have been a few. There have been a few. There's probably a few more yet to come, but. Airship, welcome to the stream. Yes, I did get to rest and relax on my vacation. Um, what's my thoughts on collecting the chip of the Skylander instead of the figure? Are you talking about like the the cards and the chips that people are making? Um, I don't know. I like the figures. I like the figures a lot. All right. Uh, we do have a nightlight. Um, once again, a little, little bit on the dirty side, which is unfortunate for a white figure. But yeah. There's Nightlight. We also have a Series 1 Slam Bam. This one is intact. He is not a swapper. We have Star Strike. Series 1 Star Strike, not the Light Core. We have another trap. The Fire Screamer trap. So that's one we don't see every day. Uh, we have our first broken snapshot, I think. Um, missing part of his bow here in the left hand. So that's damage pile. Here we go. And we have another Series 1 jet vac. Polly, you hope there's a bushwhack? I, we, we'll, we'll go for it. You've been good so far. Your local bookstore got a bunch of Skylanders last week. Was able to get Series Two Bash for five bucks. Nice, nice. Do you have any suggestions on things to look look for that she may have? I mean, my best suggestion, I guess, would be like go on to my site, go into the shop, and sort them by price. If you sort them by price, highest to lowest, 
you can see kind of what's rare and what what's harder to find just based on price like that. Um, and those, I guess those would be the first things I'd look for. Yeah. All right, Ethan. Uh, yeah. Just pay, pay attention to Twitter, pay attention to the shop, see when they go up and uh, we'll go from there. There you go. If you want to test out Skylanders, I I get that. I get that. But yes, Wallop and Jawbreaker. I think they're underrated. Wallop is one of my favorites, and I it, it feels like everybody kind of talks down about him, but um, or just ignores him. I really like Wallop. Uh, Jawbreaker's all right. There's nothing wrong with him. Um, he's not stellar. He's not top of the top of the list, but yeah. Do I have all the traps in my collection? Kitty, no, I do not. Um, that's something I'm working on. I have almost all the the, the standard traps that, that you would expect. I do have one yawn trap. I have a light yawn trap. I still need the life and fire. Um, but yeah, I'll get there someday. All right. Continuing on, because we're still in box number one. Oh, boy. Um, well, this... I, I, I'm putting this in the damage pile. This is a winged boot, um, but has definitely been colored on very heavily to the point where I'm not even going to try to clean it up. Um, so I'm going to put this over in the damage pile. We have a Series 1 Bash... And another giant, Hothead. All right, we have a Series 3 Knockout Terrafin. And a Series 1 Lightning Rod. And this is not... A Skylander. So I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, anybody out there offhand know what this is? Anybody? Anybody? Um, it says Disney on the bottom. Wait, is this like... It looks familiar. Why does this look familiar? What is this? Like, it looks like something out of, I want to say, like, Big Hero 6 or something like that. Which would technically be Disney now. Um, but no, I... It is Big Hero 6? Okay, okay, good, 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 good. It is not Disney Infinity. Um, I know that much. <laughs> I, I'm very familiar with Disney Infinity. But... Yeah. Okay. So Fred from Big Hero 6. Got it. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. Uh, if, if anyone's interested in this figure, I, like, I don't think it interacts with any game. I think it's just like a, a collectible figurine as far as I know. I'll have to look into it a little bit, but if anyone's interested, uh, that's something else I don't deal with. Man. <laughs> okay, we, we got a few other non Skylanders things as well. I mean it looks cool, but um I think this is this this is from Moana, right? Like this this is the island when it's all like angry. I I, I forget the name of it now. Um but yeah, like it looks like a cool figure, but definitely not Skylanders. Huh. All right. There you go. Tafiti. There we go. Tafiti. Yes. Yes. All right. 
the good news is the majority of these have been Skylanders. It's not like the whole box is, is this other stuff. Um, here we go. Trap Shadow. We got the bottom half of Trap Shadow there. Got a few more magic items. Anvil Rain and Sparks. <laughs> yes. Series 2 Fiery Forge. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you all for working with me and help me out with naming some of this stuff too. Um, we have a Sunrunner. One of the most dangerous vehicles out there. Still don't quite understand how they got this past. Uh, this is a kid's toy. All right, we got our life hammer trap. Should have been expected by now. Uh, we got series two cinder with bent wing again. That's very common. Once again, the, these wings bend all over the place, kind of like those swords I was talking about. Uh, we got another damaged um, snapshot. Once again, missing half the bow. And a Series 1 Zook. <laughs> Oscar, if I sold the Broken Skylanders for one cent each, I would actually lose money, unfortunately. Um, between shipping costs and um, just the, the, the other costs that I don't talk about very often is, is that... Um, it's the, the 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 PayPal fees, right? Like I, I I every time an order goes through, PayPal charges me fees, and so if I, which is I think it's like thirty five or no two point nine percent plus thirty five percent thirty five cents per transaction, and so if I if I sold things for a penny, I actually lose like thirty four cents. Um. So yeah, it it doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, Wix. The, the the thing with the, with the with the Sunrunner, it, it's still not quite as bad as you as we originally thought it was going to be. But if you look at the original renderings for this, all of these come to very sharp points. I think I still use this picture on the website, so you can go check it out there. But all of these come to very sharp points, and we're like. How on earth did anyone allow that? And so when they came out with it, they're all rounded corners. So they did, you know, soften it up a little bit. But um, we always kind of wondered, like, if you send a shape like this through, that's through um, airport security, when they're just looking at, like, x-rays, and they see a solid object with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten um, protrusions coming out of it that are all pointed... It looks more like like a throwing star or something like that um, that would be considered a weapon normally. And so we always kind of wondered, like, if you put this through security, um, would would you get pulled over? Would TSA uh, check your bags? But, yeah, that, that that's basically what we're going after. All right. Let's keep this going. Have the bottom half of Freeze Blade, which I don't have. Actually, this is the bottom half of Nitro Freeze Blade. That now that I look closer, got the gold pants there. So a couple of variants you need to finish off here. Here we have the top half of Free Ranger. Got legendary Deja Vu. Got another uh, standard Series 1 jetpac. And shoot, I forget who was asking for it. Crypt Crusher. Crypt Crusher, we got it. Um, yeah. Nice vehicle there. Oop. Knocking stuff over. All right, so here is Crypt King. Got that there. Another glow-in-the-dark figure, glow-in-the-dark cinder. And, I mean, once again, I, 
it doesn't show up that well on camera here, but like you see all those dark spots, like it's it's just these glow in the dark figures pick up dirt from everywhere. Unfortunately, it's sad, but that's that's once they're out of the box, that's the only way to find them. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, this is the base for that nitro head rush. Um, how does this go together? So yeah, we we do have the base there. So I'll be able to test out this base later on to see if the, the figure still works. Um, but it's still going to go in the broken pile. But it looks like we do have the pieces for it at least. So that's that's always a nice thing. And I have the top half. Oh, no, I do have the bottom half. Here we go. We have Spy Rise. Nice. All right. Hey, Lax Repos, you still here? Got sunburn. And there he is, Thornhorn camo. One of my favorites there. Finally got a repose. We have another hot streak. Had one of them earlier on. So we were talking about characters getting crushed, right? Um, <laughs> and for one figure that breaks all the time, sitting at the bottom of a box, Series 1 Hex is still intact. So there you go. We have an undead orb trap. And the Tower of Time. Actually, I think this is the front of it. There you go. All right. Uh, do I like Thornhorn or the OG camo better? That's a tough call. I have a hard time liking, you know, like sequels better than the original. Um, but Thornhorn Camel does look pretty good. I I like that the the co the colors seem a little bit brighter on Thornhorn Camel, which I kind of like. But yeah, I don't know. You recently got camo? Yes. Good job. Good job. Camo is a blast. All right. We got another Golden Queen. So maybe I wasn't crazy when we got two uh, Kingpens. Got the bottom half of Stink Bomb. I can actually see the bottom of this box now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. We're making progress. Um, I think I had the bottom half of this. Here we go. Boom, Jet. Boom. And here we're finding all the halves now, finally. Fire cracking. There we go. Uh, st uh, super shot stealth elf. Brain not working yet. Still too early. All right. Um... Series one, Chop Chop. And Light Core Smolder Dash. So there's another Light Core figure. Actually, only like the second Light Core we've gotten so far, I think. All right, there's another Riptide. And another Series 1 Slam Bam. So getting a few duplicates in here, but like with everything else that's been in this lot, it, it's just so good. And we got a Series 2 Cinder. Um, this is complete. So, there we go. So we got Rubble Rouser complete. And our figure focus of the week. Boomer, 
Ring the boom. There you go. All right. Um, oh, here's another light core figure. Light core robot was infinitely easier to find than uh, Series Two robot. Oh well, this is fun. We have two uh, observatories. Uh, oh, shoot, what was it called? Um, Scott Observatory, Observatory, Observatory. Um, I know I shouldn't waste time on this. You guys can help me out. There's something, something observatory. Fill in the blank. Got two of them back in stock. All right, we got the top half of Stink Bomb complete. We have, here we go. Here's our Series 2 Double Trouble. Not damaged. Got the full staff there. All good to go. We have a Dive Clops. Thank you, Griffin Park Observatory. That's it, Griffin Park, Griffin Park, Griffin Park. All right. Oh, oh, that's a good point. Oscar, thank you for bringing that up. One is indeed broken. Missing the spire over here. Thank you for calling that out. That goes in the damage pile. Um, so, this one is going to be significantly cheaper than this one. So if anyone's looking for a cheap Griffin Park Observatory, I may have something for you. All right. Um, we have Series 1. Uh, Terrafin. 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 There we go. And, ooh. It's one we don't see every day. Creation. Or, is this our first creation crystal? Man, it might be my only creation crystal. Uh, the legendary life acorn creation crystal. So there you go. That's a nice piece there. All right, here we go. Um, we do have the bottom half of metallic green wash buckler. So that's nice. Um, but this one is a little bit concerning. I'll have to double check and make sure this still works. Um, down on the bottom here, you can see that the paper, I, from the looks of it, I think it should still work. Um, I think this is a factory error from what I can tell. It doesn't look like it was ever taken apart. It just looks like the, the, the paper that goes on the bottom never fully laid flat. And so when it got slapped on here, it just bent. Um, but we'll test it out as we always do. Make sure it still works just fine. But yeah, I, I think we have another metallic green wash buckler. Got another life hammer trap. And, oh. Huh. We have a broken Series 1 bash. Uh, his tail is... A little bit missing there. It's unfortunate. And we have Series 2 Pop Fizz. Super Gulp Pop Fizz. Yes, I agree with this fully, Chris. The, the Drobot's eyes should have lit up. Not like one spot on his back. Like, come on, really? He has laser eyes. Light up his eyes. That, that would have made so much more sense to me. Yeah, Brian, that... The, the Griffin Park observatories tend to sell pretty quickly in, in general. Um, so I wouldn't expect the broken one to last too long. 
like I said, that might actually be worth something picking up. I, I agree, Airship. I what could, when I saw that, I'm like, I didn't know this figure could break. <laughs> Who knew? Is the level design good for Griffin Park Observatory? Yeah, I, I, I think they did a great job with with the, those levels there. And for being an expansion level, it's got some depth to it. All right. One of my favorite trap masters. Here we go. Shortcut. And as we've seen before, his, his scissors can get a little bit bent, but that's just the soft plastic they use sitting at the bottom of a box. Still, still in good shape. Uh, series one sprocket. We have series three pop fizz from trap team. So this was uh, Fizzy Frenzy, I think. Something like that. Speaking of Drobot, there is a Series 1, the original. And then two Series 1 Gilgrunts. They have a few of him in this lot. Oh, here's a Trap Master we haven't seen yet. We do have Nightmare. So we have both Nightlight and Nightmare. It's always good to see. All right, I've got Series 2 Zook. Got a Water Tiki Trap. Got Shroom Boom. Series 1. Yeah, Series 1 Shroom Boom. And another Giant here, Swarm. Make that two copies of Swarm. Hey. Ah, still smells good. Splat. There you go. She's a fun one. Oh, here we go. One of my favorite legendaries. We've talked about this before. Legendary Chop Chop. Just the way his red eyes pop out of there. Like that. It looks so good. They did a great job with that one. Another Series 3 Stealth Elf. Another Series 1 Terrafin. Ooh, that would have been fun. Super Call Pop Fizz. Have the bottle glow. Yeah. Speaking of Nightmare, is the sword supposed to be glued to her ponytail? Uh, I would say yes. Mine is attached there as well. So I would say yes. I've, I've never looked that closely at it, but I I would say yes on, on these as well then too. We didn't get a bushwhack right now, so I can't look at it, but um, I, I think it's just for stabil stability. All right, another mini. I small. This is mini from Trap Team. I small. Here is Series Two Igniter, all in one piece. This one does not come apart. Another Series One Zap. There you go. And here is the standard Blades figure to go along with that original Hand of Fate that we saw. All right, we got the Undead Hand trap. Another Water Tiki trap. Sky Iron Shield magic item and the Piggy Bank. And I did find some parts here. Um, so I got the staff from that Series 2 Double Trouble that was broken off before. 
And then I got this part, which I think is actually a broken piece of Tafiti uh, that we had here. Like the, the, the paint job is what tells me that's Oh, there it is. Um, how does this attach? Oh, here we go. So there, she has her arm sticking out here. Actually fell off. So I have a complete Tafiti. Okay, yeah. Like I said, if anyone's interested in those Disney figures, let me know. All right, another Series 1 Gil Grunt. Throw it on the pile. Series 3 Trigger Happy. Big Bang Trigger Happy. And Series 2 Trigger Happy. No special name, just Series 2. Last few figures. Ugh. We have a Series 1 Stump Smash. Have a Healing Elixir intact. I remember the last one we got of these. Um, the the cork was like bitten off. I think they let his dog get at it. Have a Water Log Holder Trap. Fright Rider. Uh, Polly, you're hoping for uh, Astro Blast. We got that here to go along with the Sunrunner. And we do have... There we go. Legendary Night Shift. All right. So I think that makes us through our box, which unfortunately means we have... The bottom half of Nitro Freeze Blade. That was the only half that didn't get matched up. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't have the top half of that one. That That's going to be a hard one to come by by itself, I think. Oh, I found one more. We had Earth Hammer. There you go. Earth Hammer Trap. That's the last one. All right. Um, what do you think happened to all the used GameStop Skyline Shift in stuff? Very possibly. Um, a lot of I, I I can tell you from experience with other brands that um they reach a point eventually where they don't want to pay for warehouse space. It they can't sell it to stores because stores won't buy it. Um so they usually end up donating it to like Goodwill or some other major thrift store like that that can um they basically donate it to charity is what is what it turns out um they, they always try to make some money off of it that's why we saw a bunch of stuff at like five below um and other stores similar to that 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 buy off like that that's how five below works right is, is they buy in bulk from companies who like we can't sell this stuff anymore so okay we'll buy it all in bulk and then we get to sell it for five bucks and we only paid, you know, probably a dollar or 50 cents or a quarter for it. Um, so a lot of stuff goes there. Um, what, what, what doesn't go there eventually gets donated to charity. They can write it off on their taxes and they, they still, you know, don't lose everything. Um, so I doubt they're still sitting in a warehouse somewhere. I'm sure they've gotten rid of it. Like we, we, we know a lot of the stuff we did go to, stores like five below and such um we've seen a lot of swap force there we've seen we've even seen imaginators there at one point so um so that's box one that was a lot my table is already full and i'm gonna open another box so, uh, give me two seconds again to kind of rearrange a few things, and then we're going to get into box two. Thank you for sticking with me so far. Um, we got one more big box we're going to do right now, and then I'm going to start trying to test all these. Although, like I said, I'm out of space already. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these figures, um, especially during testing. It's going to be a mess. So, 
well over a hundred figures score well well over a hundred figures there i imagine there's got to be somewhere like two to three hundred figures here was anybody counting i wasn't but just looking at the pile here it it's a lot of figures um so yeah let's get to the second box excuse me for a moment All right. Um, so yeah, I, I, I can show you a picture of the pile <laughs> after, after I get through the second box, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but move some more of these out of the way. Okay. Um, so the second box, actually about the same size but in much better condition and much lighter so the first box said it weighed something around like 25 pounds this one's about 10 pounds so not nearly as heavy uh but ghost do i play fortnite call of duty i i i, I don't I've actually never played Fortnite. I don't even know how. So uh, I, I have played a lot of Call of Duty. Um, I haven't played Black Ops Cold War, but I, I I do play a lot of... I have played a lot of Call of Duty in the past. Let's put it that way. So um, getting into this box. I can already tell you it looks better. There's bubble wrap. You know how I feel about that. They did actually pack this box, and that's why you know the box survived the shipping, right? Yeah, air, airship. I'll, I'll definitely put put photos on Twitter. Um, have I tried to go to Goodwill to get lots? Yes. Um, unfortunately, my Goodwill just doesn't see a lot of Skylanders. Um, I don't know why that is. I, I've seen some in the past, um, but it's usually like, like at my parents. Um, they, I mean, they live in different cities, so it's like they have a different Goodwill store, and I've stopped there sometimes, and I've seen some. I, I just haven't had good luck with them recently, so I don't know. All right. This one might almost have too much bubble wrap, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> and it looks like some of these figures, almost all of them might almost be like individually wrapped. This this is going to be... Uh, this may take just as long to, <laughs> to unwrap. Um, here's figure number one. Can you tell what it is? You actually might be able to tell what it is. What is name that figure? Name that figure. I hope this bubble wrap isn't too annoying. If it is, let me know and I will um, mute my microphone while I'm unwrapping these. 
So, figure number one. Series two, Drobot. That's always a good way to start out a pa- package. Until I drop him. Don't worry. Still, still all good. Still all good. Series two, Drobot. Got him. Number two. Like, seriously, who, who does this? Like, if, it, if they were all Series 2 Drobots, I get it. But this one's a Chopper. He individually wrapped Chopper. I... What is, what is going on here? <laughs> you think? Okay, so I think there's two figures in here. But like these are all like individually wrapped. That this is above and beyond, folks. I don't pack this well. Anybody who's ordered from me knows that I I don't quite pack like this. I mean, I use a lot of bubble wrap. Yes, um, I don't use as much tape as he's using. But yeah, <laughs> at least they don't break. Yes, yes, that's true. They're just a pain to unwrap. All right, so we got Series 1 Spyro. I got to tell you, these, these aren't figures worth wrapping up like this. All right, there we go. Dune Bug. One of my favorites to look at. Love the paint job on him. All right, next. Individually wrapped. Oh, man. Here we go. Sky Slicer. Thank you, Sevenfold. I, I I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Like I I package I, I try to package them in a manner where I think they're going to be safe. I don't want you receiving broken figures unless, of course, that's what you bought from me. Potentially. All right. This one might actually have like half a dozen figures in it. They're spreading out a little bit. Oh, you know what? Because this is one of those bubble bags. That's why. There's more room in there. So we got Dragon's Peak. Zulu. Sure Shot Shroom Boom. And legendary slam bam. This is this is a nice looking figure. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of times I don't like the legendaries. I've said legendary chop chops are probably my favorite, but this legendary slam bam actually looks pretty good too. Take it. Yes, Kitty. Uh Green Gil Grunt has made it up onto the shelf. It has indeed made it to the shelf. Oh, this is a big figure. Solo raft, but just one figure. It's a sensei. Does anyone need try tip? Tiny little box. Oh, interesting. I don't remember this. Which makes me wonder what else is in this lot that I don't remember, if there's anything. So we have a wing boot. The wing boots. That one's good to go. But I also have this blue chest. So that makes me wonder, do we have something else in here? I mean, there's only two sets that this came with, right? Not completely crazy, I don't think. Now, 
they could have kept it for themselves. They could have sold it off separately. I don't know. But even just finding a blue chest by itself uh, could be something. All right, individually wrapped. Come on. I mean, the other option, too, is that, like, they just brought bought a blue chest off of someone else to get the parts and didn't actually buy the figure along with it. Because, like, I, I will say right now, I don't remember there being a Robo or Wildstorm in this lot, but I don't actually remember what's in this lot. Um, that, like I said, I was surprised to see the blue chest. I don't remember that being there. So uh, we'll find out. Yes, there is a Spitfire. Good call on that one, Polly. All right, another individually wrapped here. The sad part about um, a lot of this uh, bubble wrap using as much tape as he did, I don't know that I'm going to be, re be able to reuse a lot of it. I'll reuse some of it for sure, but there you go. Rattle shake, one of my favorites. So yeah, Brian, no, the, the blue chest did not unlock the level pack. Just the, the, the figures did. Um, yeah. So you need Wildstorm or Robo to un uh, unlock the level. Uh, similar with the, the the only difference was the the um, Crash Bandicoot and Doctor Cortex. Um, both of them unlocked it, but they were both figures, and that's all that was included. They didn't have a chest. All right, another individual in the pink bubble wrap. have ourselves a trap shadow and this one got series three stealth elf and another punch pop fizz Oscar, I, I don't know how much this lot cost because, like I said, I didn't line these up with individual orders. That's part of the reason I don't remember what's in them. So i got another swapper here. There is our freeze blade. It's like another swapper in this one. There's Wash Buckler. All right. Someone was just asking me about cards. We do have a bag of cards here. And these actually seem to be in pretty decent condition. Uh, oh, even better. I like this. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Th th these have been pretty well kept up. Um, got a bunch of cards here and even is still a sealed pack of the, uh, Skylanders battle cast cards. So the, the, these cards came with the starter pack, right? And they, they were all the same. Um, but that, that's kind of a nice collector's item to have a sealed pack yet. I might actually keep this. Um, but these cards on the other hand, I, I don't really need to keep. So if anyone's interested in that, um, once again, let me know. We'll work something out if we need to. All right. So here is Bushwhack. We were talking about him before. Um, and 
Yeah, it looks like the axe is embedded in his head, <laughs> which is kind of weird when you think about it, but yeah. Bushwhack, there you go. All right, somebody's getting stuck together with the tape on the outsides. All right, so there is a slobber tooth. And do, 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 do. another series three uh, terrafin, knockout terrafin. Have another. Seen him before today. There is series one bash intact this time with the tail. And okay, so so looking at this, we were saying like we thought series one bash, you know, pretty hardy figure, but th there definitely is a joint right here. So like this, it it's not part of the base mold. Um, it is something they inserted. There's going to be a peg there. So if it's going to break anywhere, that's where it's going to break. But All right, another swapper. We have Rubble Rouser. Solid swapper there. All right, looks like we have a couple in this one. Oh, I see some Magic Skylanders. Two Magic Skylanders, different games. Here is another Enigma. And a Sensei, Sensei alert, Sensei alert, Sensei alert. Buckshot. There we go. So we're getting some some senseis in this lot as well. Some different ones actually than we had in the first lot. But yeah, as I continue to go down, I, I keep seeing like everything basically individually wrapped. This is gonna be crazy. Kitty, yeah, I mean I, I, I will I will sell the cards. Um yeah, once again, Europe would be tough. It it probably wouldn't make sense to ship them over there, but um, I will definitely sell them if anyone's interested. All right. We have a Magna Charge. We have... Hey, my boy! There is the original camo. So we've gotten every camo figure out there today. All right. There is Riptide. And it looks like we have a variant coming up here. Oddly enough, a variant we've already had, but Legendary Night Shift. Got another one of those. And yeah, uh, Robo, as Sevenfold said there, he's a Wave 5 level pack character. He was like the last one to be released. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, there's just a lot of factors that went into it. I still think he's priced higher than he needs to be, but it is what it is. Brian, you're right. I did not get a red camo today. I, yeah. Sad day. I, 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 I'm not expecting to get a red camo today.
then again, I suppose I wasn't expecting to get a bronze hot dog either. So. All right, there is head rush. Standard head rush. Akasha, no, I have not gotten any elites yet today. Um, I know somewhere in some of these lots, I think it's in some of the smaller lots, I actually got some elites. There's a sea shadow. Yeah, Kitty. Um, we pulled this today. This was 100% unexpected. I I don't remember this being in the pictures. I don't I don't remember seeing that. I I would have remembered that. I remembered the thrillipede from that lot, but Bye Polly. Thanks for stopping in. It's been a blast. Speaking of blast, there's blast zone. That was not planned at all. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, tape's all sticking to everything. Okay. Hey, Scorp, you still... Yes, you are here. Found your buddy again. Got another Scorp. All right. Oh, here. So, yeah. Here's Torch. You're right. Um, this... Torch. How does that work? I I mean I really don't know how this happened. Like this right arm like was attached upside down except it it looks like it's part of the mold. It doesn't look like it there's a joint there. I'm not sure how that works. I really don't know how that works. But good call on that. Wh whoever made that call earlier. Um, so yeah, we definitely have a factory error torch over here. Um, that that will keep off in a special pile. But that's interesting. So we got a standard how it should be torch. And then we have this... Uh, Factory error one over here. So good call. I I don't know that I would have um caught that. All right, moving on. We have more swappers. There is stink bomb. Looks like we have a trap master here, I think. There we have another nightmare. I hope he doesn't give you nightmares. She doesn't give you nightmares, but ooh. This one's gonna be questionable too. Shoot. <laughs> so, um, once again, not not damaged per se, assuming it still works in game. And I don't know if you can see it here. Can you see this little lip right here um uh, man that's hard to show off so this is actually the edge of the nfc chip like i i can actually see some of the the lines the wiring on there um that got di didn't quite make it to the center of where it's supposed to be so it got sandwiched on the outside I'm thinking it probably still works, but we'll test it out and see. So there's that.
got another variant figure here. We have Legendary Igniter. So this is from Giants, the Legendary. And got some in like foam packing. Ran out of bubble wrap. For a food fight. Like they, they didn't care what they were packaging. We're just gonna package everything individually. All right, here is another wildfire. Yeah, sevenfold. You're right. That they did come in in three pack with with jet bag as well. So probably see that in here somewhere. I would guess. Got another hot streak. Have I played Disney Infinity? Yes, I have indeed played Disney Infinity. Um, it's not my favorite game. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. I I got my platinum trophy because that's what I do, but it wasn't my favorite game. I I definitely prefer Skylanders. All right, this package has two items. We have the Midnight Museum and the Sunscraper Spire. I know I have some of these in stock. The Spire has been out of stock for a little while, so glad to have that back in the inventory. We've already seen uh, Nightmare, and since we just saw Sunscape Spire, it's not too surprising to see Night Light in here. And we got our Golden Queen. So technically another sensei. Not one everybody's hoping for, but technically a sensei. All right, so we got a trap master. There is my buddy Crypt King. So for yeah, anyone who's just getting on, this second box, everything has been like individually wrapped in bubble wrap and not just wrapped, but like taped. And so it's taking much longer than usual to unwrap everything. So I apologize for that, but uh, we got a series one Bumble Blast. But that's why there's these big pauses between each and every figure. It's like, have to unwrap it. Like, I always try to open the boxes ahead of time. So I'm not saying they're slicing boxes, but um, yeah. So we got, uh, wow, super, super shot stealth elf. There we go. From Superchargers. Someone's trying to break free. Who could that be? None other than Series 1 Gil Grunt. Do I have green Scorp? No, I do not. I don't have any of the green figures. I don't have any of the green figures from Swap Force, I should say. I mean, obviously, I have the green Gil Grunt up there, but that's about the only green figure I have. 
Here is a series two Frino, Hog Wild Frino. Tiny little one. Just big enough for sparks. Actually gotten a couple of him today. Oscar, it's because series series one, Gil Grunt was a starter pack figure, so there's a lot more of him out there. Series two was harder to come by a little bit. Uh, we got another Fiery Forge. Right. Yeah, we're rapidly getting to the bottom of this. So, like I said. The, the box was roughly the same size of the first one. But this one, like, it was significantly more bubble wrap. Um, well, the first box didn't have any bubble wrap. It didn't have any kind of packaging material. Um, so, yeah. It looks like, I mean, the big pieces we've gotten out of this one, we got Nightlight and Nightmare, along with... Um, uh, the Midnight Museum and Sunscraper Spire. So that that's always good to see those. Uh, we did have a few Imaginators. We had Buckshot and... Um, we had someone else in here. Buckshot. Oh, Tri-Tip was in here as well. A few vehicles and stuff. We have Funny Bone. Uh, there we go. There is our Kingpin. No surprise there. We have Fire Kraken. And come on. And we got Snapshot. So kind of lackluster way to uh, finish off that that lot there but that still checking yeah that that's that's that end the end of the second lot so not nearly as big not quite as exciting i i mean like i said there was this blue chest but i don't know what happened to the figure that came with it or if they just bought the blue chest separately from somebody or if they sold off the other figure because they knew they could get more for it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, do the magic items work in Imaginators? So most of the like magic items and traps and stuff in Imaginators, they don't really do their action. Most of them, if not all of them, will give you money. It's a quick way to get money in Imaginators so you can buy stuff, but they, they don't really do what they're supposed to do in other games. So, yeah. There's that. Uh, has there been a Jade Flashwing? No, we did not get a Jade Flashwing today. We didn't get any Jade figures today. So, yeah. Uh, those are the two boxes. Um, I... Here, I, I'll take a picture of this this quick and um, um, show it off on, on Twitter before I start diving through it again. Um, here, I'll just toss these guys on top of the pile quickly. So they can get full effect of what's going on here. Um, here. I don't know if this will even do it justice. But you can kind of see what's going on. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to post this to Twitter right now. And then we're going to boot up the game and um, start testing 
the these figures. Um So yeah, if you want to go check out this picture, you can jump over to Twitter. Twitter.com slash SCL Matt. Even if you don't have a Twitter account, you can just go to Twitter.com slash SCL Matt and see my tweets. You can do it from any old browser. There, I just tweeted out a picture of, of the table I'm working with. Um... And <laughs> that's what's going on right now. Um, so that, that's what I'm dealing with. But now it's time to, like I said, boot up the game. And we can just have some friendly old Skylanders chat as we do while I uh, jump around in that. Did I get any chase figures? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was the big find today from the first box. Um, this is the, the E3 hot dog, the bronze hot dog. That's, that was the biggest find today. Um, so I have to do some research on that one to see what's, what's going to happen. Um, but it's, oh man, th there's a lot of good stuff that came out of today for sure. Do I have any stock of dark or legendary Spyros? Dark Spyros, I know I just sold out of. I didn't get any more today. Legendary, I don't think I have in stock. You can go check the site, but I don't think I have them in stock right now, Aaron. Um, for, for, for those that don't know, I, I do still have six more orders sitting here on the floor that I need to unbox, but I, I, I need to kind of do these in waves to, to keep, because like... I'll test all these, get them listed in the shop, then I sort them into the inventory on the shelf, uh, on the shelves, so I I, I can keep things in order. Um, as I am, you know, technically running a business here, I need to keep things going. Um, so there may be something in one of those orders. I don't recall right now, but yeah, yeah. Who's my favorite Skylander? Favorite Skylander is my boy Camo up here right up here uh camel is my number one for sure travel uh, yeah like that that i mean it, it's a standard card table like what is that you like three foot by three foot or four by foot by four foot something like that um it's it, it's not super large but it it's a lot of skylanders it's hundreds of skylanders um like i said i didn't count but yes, Brian, it's going to be some serious work ahead. Um, Master Robo, next unboxing. Um, it depends how quickly I can get through this stuff here. If I can get through this in a timely manner, um, I might go for another unboxing tonight. Even if I can, if I can get through all this stuff. Um, but otherwise, tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow would be the, the latest. Um, I will for sure get through all this stuff tonight one way or another. Like this is my project for today. Um, cause I know I need to catch up with this. So I'm going to get through what I've unboxed so far, get those tested up on the site and ready to go. Um, and then if I still have time left tonight, if it's not super late, then I could potentially, um, do another unboxing tonight yet. Yeah. But We'll see. We'll we'll see how far we get. So, um, with that being said, let me jump over and we can add in some of this. Let's see what game what game do I have in here? Don't really want superchargers right now. All right. So anybody who's watched me before, 
You know, I test things in Imaginators because I have figures here from all six games. And so the only game that can handle all of those figures is Imaginators. So that's why I start there. Um, after I go through Imaginators, I will jump back into Superchargers so I can reset the vehicles because I can't reset vehicles in Imaginators, unfortunately. Like, you can kind of test them and make sure the chip still works, but you can't actually reset them because, believe it or not, um, vehicles have upgrades too. And they have special money that you can collect for upgrades. Um, so I like to reset all of that before I sell them. So here we go. We, we are jumping into Imaginators, and we're just going to be testing everything. So... If, if you want to stick around, I appreciate it. It'll be working towards our 4,000 hours. We had that question early on. Um, while I was gone, you guys still managed a few hundred hours throughout the, the two weeks I was gone. Um, so we're still, we're about 3,300 hours. We need about 700 more hours. But I'm going to be live streaming just about every day this week to catch up with all of this stuff. Um, so hopefully... In the next week or two, we can we can get through, um, get 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 close to our our four thousand hours. We should be able to get pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually jump anywhere, but all right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Kitty, yes, I can play Skylanders on PS5. Unfortunately, I cannot play all of them. Um, I can play the last four because they were released on PS4, and it's backwards compatible to PS4, but not to PS3. So I can't play the first two games. Polly didn't miss much. I just finished up the second box. There wasn't a whole lot at the end of it. Um, it was a little bit disappointing, but yeah. For those of you who are staying here, Scorp, Jojo, everybody else, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. So now that this can't, I mean, has the potential to be boring. It's just me <laughs> testing figures. Um, but I am going to throw my headphones on. Because I like to actually be able to hear the game. It keeps me moving when I'm testing them. All right, here we are. Oh, that's the wrong button. There you go. I wonder how I rank. Um, Scorp, that's awesome. Bought a Wii U. Play a few more games. Can PS4 play PS3 games? No. No. They're, they're unfortunately, that's not an option. Um, that. That's that's why, like I I just wish they would either make the PS5 com backwards compatible just to the PS3. Like I I've said I I don't need to play my PS1 and PS2 games on my PS5. But um, I would like to be able to play all my Skylanders games. So that's that, that's the other reason I'm I, I'm kind of hoping for a remaster because then they'd be available on PS5 and I'd be able to stream things a lot better. Pretty sure you can play every Skylanders game on the Wii U. Cause it, is that because you can play Wii games on the Wii U? Is that how that works? Because other, otherwise, I always tell people. If you want to be able to play every Skylanders game, you need a PS3 or Xbox 360. Because they were actually released for released all six games on those two consoles. Uh, so, so that's that's uh, potential there. Yeah, I, K 
Kitty, I'm with you there too. I like. I wish you could play SSA on a on a newer console for PlayStation. But everything's looking good so far. These figures are not as as far as long as uh, the last ones re, 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 that we reset. When they were all level 20s. That was still ridiculous. That must have been the most ridiculous thing we've had on stream so far. Uh, camel works. That's all I need. We're done. No, we got a lot more to go. A lot, lot more to go. I need to crunch these numbers. Clobber and slobber. Scorp, uh, yes, I, I, I'm pretty sure I have. I mean... Probably depends on your definition, one hundred percent too. Because, like, I I think for like the game file to say one hundred percent, like, I don't think you need to do all of the. Um, uh, what are those called? The, the the challenges that you get from. Uh, from Cali. Right. Um. But I know, like some of the, burning up the charts. In general, I, I like I complete things as much as I can because of PlayStation trophies. That's usually kind of how the trophies work: is they want you to play through the entire game and play through multiple times on different difficulties and play through, uh, you know, get three stars on everything and. Um, so I, I I feel I've played most games pretty completely. I will say Swap Force, I have not done all of the content. But on many other games, I, I certainly have. Making my mark. Right. I'm gonna have to find a place to put some of these figures. I should have kept that box over here. So I could put them back in the box as I clean them off the table. I might have to go grab that. Because, yeah, the way they're stacked on the table right now, it's not going to work for how I usually do this. Usually I don't have it, like, usually I only have, like, half the table filled. And so for me to, like, I just move them to the other half of the table after they've been tested. But that's not really possible right at this moment. A chain is only as strong as its weakest. Stay frosty. All right. Um, actually, before I get too far into this, let me go grab that. Back in business. Let's do this. Hide and sleek. 
And I can just leave like the vehicles on the table that I know I have to test and reset later in the other game. The numbers don't tell the whole story. So what has everybody else been up to over these past two weeks when I haven't been live streaming? I know I can't be the only one you watch. Who, who, who else do you watch online? That That's something I'd be interested to know. Like, are there, do you just watch other SkyTubers? If so, who is that? Or what other content do you watch online? Deadly. Oh, I'm sorry, Polly. I'm sorry you've been sick. That's no fun. Yeah, I definitely tried to <laughs> stay away from being sick because I was out and about. And when I'm on vacation, I'm always on a strict regimen of uh, my daily emergency you know those little packets of powder that you drop in water and have so many vitamins and minerals that it's nearly impossible to get sick while taking it but yeah when I'm out and about and in contact with a lot of people I always want to make sure I stay healthy Jojo, you were out of town last week too. Awesome. awesome. Now that's strong. Scorp, you streamed your first playthrough of Imaginators. There you go. Creating your own content. I like it. All right, I'm curious about some of these we had questions about. So here, here is that um, nightmare that has the chip kind of sticking outside of it. I mean, not all the way outside, but yeah. Still seems to function properly. That's cool. Level 13 has a hat. Like, everything seems to My work just fine. No That's good to see. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> Joel, yes, yes. That, that, there we go. T test the hot dog. Um, yeah, we should do that. <laughs> So that nightmare works. Here you go. Here it is, folks. Bronze hot dog. On the portal. Hot dog. Rare. I'll take it. So that 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 tag rare and special and and yeah, you can see they, they haven't even played with it. Level five, twenty one hundred coins. Yeah. It's a real deal. So does anyone know um, with chase variants like this that start at level 5 of 2,100 coins, if you reset them, like, I, I, I'm not going to do it because I, I, I want to leave that there. But if you reset them, are they like the Eons Elite where they just stay at their, like, that's their base? Is like the Eons Elite stay at a base of level 20 even when you reset them? Like, if I reset this figure, would it go to level 1 or would it stay at level 5? I think I've heard it stays at level five. I mean, I mean, goes back to level one, and that's why I don't want to experiment with it right now. <laughs> like this being like the first one I have here. Um, but yeah, th this is a legit um, on top dog here. Man, what what is it with the horror VR? Horror VR, Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Man, Rose F. Death, you're lurking again. Yeah, I I'm the same way. I don't usually interact in chats either. Yeah, almost every use Skylander Tiff has a hat. I I mean. I've I've asked a few times, Chris, and and maybe you're different. Do, do you like that that the your used figures come with hats? Um, because like I I don't. I like my new figures to come at level one, zero coins, no hats, and like basically like they're brand new. And that's why I always reset them like this.
before I sell them. I mean, the no, number one reason is to test and make sure they actually work. Yeah, someone else liked Rattleshake. All leveled up is ugly purple color. But he leveled up at least. Um, Go ahead. Snake my day. Okay, so they fully reset. Yeah, level one, zero gold, zero XP. Sure. We haven't re done the research yet. I I can't say for sure because I haven't done the research, but my gut tells me it's more than thirty dollars um, for a relatively early in the game ex event exclusive. I mean, it was a Giants figure, so it was probably the event exclusive in 2013 that I've been. I think in the games between, like between the, the summer between Giants and Swap Force. So um, I have to imagine it's probably more than $30. Um, but I've been surprised before. So here, I let me let, let me help you out a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing part of the problem is going to be not a lot of these have probably sold. Um, Skylanders, what bronze hot dog? Is that how people? Th so this is something I, I, I hate having to research all the time. Oof, oof. I mean, a lot of these are new in box, but wow. Um, yeah, it's going to be more than $30. Um, like, I'm seeing listings. Now, these aren't sold by any means, but listings in three figures, 125 150 300 Um So, like I said, most of those are new in box. Um, let me Let me actually do this properly and just look at the sold items because that's that's what I I want to go by all right so th there's a sold out of box for 50 bucks there's one in box for seven well about 80 with shipping interesting someone apparently got a new in box bronze hot dog for about 40 bucks another one for 50 so maybe it, it, it might be close to the 30 that we were thinking but i i mean now i i'm thinking it'll be probably around 50 maybe maybe this is gonna be a tricky one mostly because i don't have a lot of data to work with Right, and so that some of these are going to be anomalies that go for super low or super high. Um, but yeah, like, like, I mean, the absolute lowest one I'm seeing that has sold here is 31 plus 850 shipping, so about 40 bucks. Um, That I'm, I'm super surprised with that one actually. Wonder why that one sold for so little. Is it a new seller or something? Like why did that go? Why did that go so low? Because like all the other listings are so much higher, and that not always, but some people are just greedy. But sometimes it indicates that, like that's what they had been selling for. And so, like, I, I only have data for, you know, the past, what, like, 90 days or whatever that eBay gives you. Um, yeah, because there's one that sold internationally for 121 plus 50 bucks shipping. Wow. That's, that's a little much. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about that one some more i have some background now but um yeah 
I, I like I said, I wasn't expecting to get that, and so I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, Chris, I'm with you there. I, I don't really care for the hats. The only reason I put them on is for speed, usually. Like, I usually don't even care about the rest of the stats, but so many of the characters, especially in some of the early games, are so slow that I just need to get something. There you go. Heroic challenges. That, that's what I was trying to think of before. Um... Like, I haven't completed all of the heroic challenges, but... Yeah. He spores. I mean, the, the, the real challenge is getting all, all the characters through all of the challenges, because some of those challenges were made for specific characters. And so it, it's really a challenge to get some of the other characters through those specific challenges. It's possible, though. I know people have done it. <laughs> no problem, Robo. Glad to check. Uh, were there any Phantom Cinders? No. Uh, surprisingly, I yeah, we didn't get any Phantom Cinders today. That's one. Of, well, that's that's a, a very nice figure, but yeah, we didn't get any. Kitty, no, I don't have E three hot dog, but I I was talking about it and like, I I think if I'm if I have that one in my collection, I'm gonna want it new in box, and that's looking good. Part of the reason that I I think I'm probably gonna sell this one just because it's out of box. So, Ethan, what's up? Welcome back. Getting stronger. Oh, yeah. If anyone wants to tell Ethan that we got... I think the only non-starter pack Imaginators we got in the second one were Buckshot and Tri-Tip. Does that sound right? I, I think that was about it. Oh, someone leveled up Doombug. Turned him gold. I'm gonna turn him back the other way. Can't beat the beetle. Keeping it cool. Above the rest. <laughs> Chris, Chris, yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, these are for Ethan here. Um, this is kind of with both both boxes here. Um, but yes, I love Bazooka Fox. That totally Bazooka Fox. That should have been his name. Class on my own. Oh man, almost leveled up Spitfire all the way. Level 19. Dig a Popthorns. No, not today. Um I Polly, I'm I'm almost certain I will be getting some Popthorns in in the other boxes that I haven't opened yet. Um uh, I Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure I've picked some up recently, just not in these two boxes here. 
crunching numbers. So, Kitty, um, I, I I hold on to him and hope the other halves come along. Um, I've only had one <laughs> one pair uh, matchup so far. Um, from from the mismatched halves, I think it was like a rattle shake or something like that. So one of the more common ones. But I have a shelf up here of all the mismatched halves. Um, so like from what I can see here, I have like the bottom half of free ranger bottom of spy rise, the bottom of regular freeze freeze blade, actually two bottoms of freeze blade, uh, the bottom of magna charge, the bottom of stink bomb and the bottom of rubble rouser, I think. And then the top, of Washbuckler, Night Shift, uh, Fire Kraken, and the top of a Dark Blast Zone. Um, plus then today, the leftover that we had of the bottom of Nitro Freeze Blade. So like, I I just hold on to them and, and hope that, you know, like somewhere that. along the line, maybe I'll find the other half somewhere. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be the other half that was originally sold with it. Um, but I just hope to get them together. If 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 you need half of a Skylander, I guess let me know. <laughs> I, I I mean, it, it kind of goes along the lines of broken, right? Um, if people want the broken figures, I'm willing to sell them. I I've had people ask um, about. Uh, if I've had a half of a a swapper. In, in, in that stack and I didn't have what they needed but yeah I, I will gladly sell them if people need them or want them but like I just it'd be a weird listing on the site to say hey you can buy the top half of this figure like I, that's not something I want to list on the site regularly Scorp uh, yeah superchargers racing tournament it is definitely on my radar. Um, I think charge. it's something that I'm going to like. We're we're playing through Swap Force right now, and I think after Swap Force, we might jump over to or no, I forget which way we said we we're gonna do it. If we're gonna do Superchargers first or Imagineers first, but um. If not sooner, for sure when we get to uh, superchargers, I will definitely set something up because that's something we can do. And you know I love interacting with the community, so if I can do it through through the actual game, that it's even better. Slam Bam works we looks weird in Imaginators. I mean, that was. Whoa, level 20 chopper. Huh. <laughs> Looks like I'll stand the test of time. <laughs> no wonder he was packaged individually. Dino um, yeah, I, I think some of that was maybe just the, the legendary status. We'll, we'll, we'll get some of the standard ones in here soon, too. See if you still think he looks weird. Uh, did I find any thumpbacks? No, we did not get any thumpback today. We got almost all of the... Um, Crash and burn. Giants, but yeah, no thumbback. I'm no small fry. King of Portals, welcome back. Crash and burn. It's the fur. Okay, if you say so. Take your word for it. Everybody has their own opinion. You think it looks weird? It looks weird. All right. Bumble Blast. Looks like he's upgraded. Triple shooter. Big and mighty. The perfect swarm. Shoot. 
Moving along nicely. All figures still working. That's good to see. A cut above all others. See the light. Face the mace. You can put your faith in numbers. Face the mace. Out of sight. Not a single flaw in sight. I was glad to see we got two enigmas already. Out of He's sight. Been out of stock for a while, I know. How many of you out there still need Enigma for your collection? He was always one of my favorites. In Trap Team. Is tri-tip worth buying? Looking I mean, solid. it's going to be a matter of opinion. Um, for impact. I don't recall playing with him a lot. So, I mean, that's one of those, like, maybe just his early attacks weren't that good, or maybe I just had too many other figures to play with. So it, it, it's a little bit hard to judge just from my opinion. What does everybody else think? Deadly. Um, Catch a glimpse. I mean, it Silent. it kind of goes along the lines. I think a lot of people underestimate the Earth characters. We we found that a little bit with um um shoot fist bump. We were saying like fist bump was a bit underestimated. Uh, just earlier today, we were talking about um, wallop. I think wallop is super underrated. Um, can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. <laughs> Standing the test of so I think that that's that's something to keep in mind. Holly, I did not find a light core warnado today, but I do believe I have some in the shop if you need them. <laughs> yes, Ethan. We'll, we'll get the chat involved for sure. Uh, King of Portals. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was just a hat he had on. I don't think there's anything actually wrong with it. See, better than Chopscotch because I don't like her look. I. I like chop scotch a lot. That's my opinion. Um, so if you're choosing between the two, I I would go with chop scotch over tri tip. But that's just my opinion. It seems like some other people really like tri tip. Has good sky chi. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good stuff there. No chinks in this armor. Slash and burn. I have a bone to pick. Old dog, new tricks. I have a bone to pick. Slice and dice. The 
Does my power please you? Happy birthday, Chopscotch. Not Chopscotch. Chop Chop. Slice and dice. Wow. Chopscotch on the brain. Born to burn. The flames are growing. Born to burn. We're already coming up on three hours. This is definitely going to take longer than anticipated. I was hoping to be done with this around the three hour mark, but I should have known better. I talked too much during the first half. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be at least another hour. Now that's strong. All you see are hats. What? Like seriously, like you don't see the characters, or just in your mind, all you see is hats. The motion of the motion. I I can see that, man. I don't think I have any control over that, unfortunately. So you might just have to rewatch the stream later on. Whenever you can listen to the sound. But yeah, I understand. I always do my best. King of the Sting. Jojo, I'm my guess is that Ethan is maybe in a place where he can't use sound right now. That's that's more what it sounded like to me. Riding my wing. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. I that I don't know how I feel about this. Watching Skylander streams while in school. Shouldn't you be paying attention to school right now? I, mean, I guess it's better than, you know, mu muting your professor or teacher. But, yeah. That's... Man. That's a first for me. I... I appreciate that greatly, Ethan. That's commitment right there. But I'm telling you, even more commitment then is you come home and watch it again. And then you can get all the sound. And you can hear me actually talking to you. Even though you won't be able to reply when you're on the rewatch. Little guy, get run. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good indeed, go run. Off the charts. 
Are sidekicks played as minis in Trap Team Forward? Yes, yes, they are. That is the great part about them. Uh, sidekicks work as minis. Minis work as sidekicks. Assuming they existed in those games previously. So yes. if you take Gil Runt, you can take the sidekick Gil Runt, put it in Trap Team or Superchargers or Imaginators, and you'll, he'll be playable. But if you take the mini, which... Did, did we just have the mini, I think? Right. Yeah, we, we just had the mini. So if you take this mini and put it in, say, SSA, it'll act like a sidekick. You won't it, it won't be playable anymore. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're interchangeable for sure. Oh, kitty, that's unfortunate. I mean, keep keep looking, keep looking. I, I I haven't had a lot of luck in thrift stores lately either. That's why I've been doing a lot of shopping online. But I mean, eBay. Just just keep looking every day. You never know what might might pop up. I found some stellar deals there. Just got to be ready to pull out that credit card or that PayPal account. Whatever stars. form of payment you use. So when you find a good deal, you can jump on it right away. Shoot for the stars. Bring it the sting. Holly's going to buy Imaginators this summer. Nice. That'll be a good experience for you. I hope it's a good experience for you. Bring this thing. I definitely enjoyed Imaginators. I know a lot of people didn't care for it. Thought they could have done better. But I very much enjoyed Imaginators. Wow, that's a hat. Doesn't even fit on screen. What a turkey. Hey, come back here, turkey. Gotta get rid of you. It's feeding time! Yep, Martin. We are back. Grinding out those hours, grinding out these Skylanders, one by one. I'm looking forward to it, though. I I enjoy this. I enjoy hanging out with you guys. I enjoy streaming. I enjoy. I am destined for greatness. Just getting to to handle these figures again. So. I've got the edge. There you go. Another Imaginators lover. I'm telling you, it's a good game. Clear the air. I wonder how I rank. Clear the air. <laughs> hey, I, I, I well, put it this way. I, I, you know what I would have done there? You know, first of all, you ask them, well, why are you selling useless crap? Um, but if you think it's so useless, well, just I'll take it off your hands for free then. I mean, if it's so useless, apparently they don't want the money for it. Or just, you know, Give them a super low ball offer. Say, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks to buy your entire stock. But yeah, that, that's unfortunate. People shouldn't do that. Especially when you're working retail like that. I'm, I'm guessing they were just an employee and not like the store owner. If a store owner is saying something like that, they're not going to be in business very long. Yes, I thought about that. 
when you said you were in economics and <laughs> you're buying and selling Skylanders right now. Hide and sleep. Totally should. Totally. Okay, that that's just bad business. Like Dark Wolf, I I don't know what. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see maybe not going back there. Like, if they have more in the back and someone is interested, but you won't show them. Like, are you trying to go out of business? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Scorp, um, I, it, it's still not in the plans right now. Like I said, it it it's just another platform that I would have to manage and. Um, I don't have the bandwidth for that right now. And burn. I I might be able to if I get some people to you know help moderate it and stuff. But I I, I don't have the the time and energy to set it up properly and and moderate the entire thing. Um, so I, that is not in, in my current plans right now. Polly, I do not watch anime. That's not something I've ever gotten into really. I thought about it a few times, but I don't know that there are other things I'd, I'd rather do. And destroy. Martin, I, I appreciate that. Yes. Light core. Um, Crunching numbers. Yeah, I I love talking with you guys. So thank you for coming here every day, every week to to do that. Was your dream Skylanders game? Oh, you want to make your own Skylanders? Okay, there you go. Yeah, like that. I mean that that honestly I could take your leave. Like I, I've discussed that before a little bit. Like creating my own character is not really my my thing, not something I look forward to. But I thought the game itself was great. I mean, I, other people loved it just because because you could create your own Skylander. So th there's something for everyone. I'm telling you, people are gonna love it for different reasons. Yeah, so Scorp, I mean, it, it's something that may happen down the road. Um, I, Looking at this, I've only been back into Skylanders now for about two months. You know, the first month I was just creating, starting to create videos. Uh, the next month I've been setting up the store. So, like, I, I'm working on things. I'm gearing up things. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. But... Um, it, it may be something that happens down the road, but I can't guarantee it right now. And it's not something that I'm currently planning on. Doing, so. this thing. Imagine it's more fun since the imaginators do a ton of damage. Yes. I, when you start leveling them up, yeah, especially your own imaginators. Um, if you have like all a sensei and so you can level them up like way beyond your average character it's like what's the top level isn't it like in the 50s or 60s or something like that it's it, it's something super high wait was that reset i don't think we actually reset this one oh maybe we did i guess um so that is that does help make things fun because people love just being able to go in and destroy bad guys but do your first custom from stump smash <laughs> Yeah, I I mean I've run across quite a few Stump Smash figures, but I I don't think we got one today. I don't think so. I, I don't think we saw any Stump Smash Series One or Series Two today. That's an interesting hat there, Stump uh, Fiesta. I aim to impress. I think you have 
concrete mixer on your head. Polly, I will stream tomorrow. Um, most likely it's going to be some more unboxings. Because I, 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 at the rate I'm going right now, I don't think I'm going to get to them tonight. So, um, yeah, some of the other unboxings will be tomorrow. Probably around the same time, maybe a little bit later. Because I was kind of scrambling this morning to get ready by 11. But, um, yeah, there, there will definitely be more streams tomorrow. Could you help with the Discord? I possibly, possibly. But like I said, it, it's just not something that I, I'm want to set up right now. But I'll keep you in mind when I, whenever I do head that direction. Tintin, tin. watching on TV, who on the big screen. <laughs> I I appreciate that man going out of your way to comment on the iPad. Yes. Yes, that's that's dedication right there. Thank you very, very much. Hopefully I can keep that content up. The light. There you go. Level 64 imaginator. Yeah, and that's the thing with with all the parts and stuff that add stats. Like, there's just so much you can do for those imaginators. Feels like I never left. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, whether you're referring to the the four year absence that I had or the two week absence that I'm just coming off of, whatever it is. Ethan, you would admin as well. I'll keep that in mind. Glad to hear you guys were are good out there. Discord would be good for the community. Yeah, I like I I, I understand the benefits for sure. Um, it's just like I said, it's one of those things. Like if I'm gonna do it, I want to do it right. So I think the top is fifty six. I mean, so I I, I think. Yeah, 64 might actually be the top because um, I think once you get all... Because I think all the chase variants even allow you extra levels. So, yeah, that, that might be a good way to go about it. Yeah, Skylanders read it just ain't it. I, I get you there. Yeah, I like I, I'm part of a few Skylanders Discord channels. Um, I mean, they're a little hit or miss. Whenever uh, a new one is created, like people jump on it and they're super active, and then things die down after a while. And usually, it's the same people in the channels over and over and over. But like I said, we'll, we'll, I'll think about it. I'll get I'll get into it. Do I like happy berries? Um, I, people who have followed me for a while with Skylanders know I I have a hard time choosing favorites, and what I I mean I do, don't dislike them, but um, I mean I don't know a lot about happy berries in the first place. Oh yeah, when I discuss, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that that was just the the comment system on on the website that I use. I, I think it's still on there actually. I just haven't posted any articles recently. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There were four years without SEL. The wasteland spikes. Wow, that's huge. I mean, it kind of negates the need for Eon's Elite figures, right? Boom time. Doing some Skylander counting while watching this. Nice. Good job. How do you find the Discord? Um, well, Chris, like I said, I, I don't have a Discord right now. 
Um, usually I just get links from other people. I don't... Is there a way you can just, like, search publicly for discords? I I don't know that there is. Um... But I remind me if someone reminds me like on Twitter or something to, hey, post a, a discord link, um, I can I can send you links to a couple of ones that I'm in. Or here. So I, I, I do these things live, right? Let's do this now. Um. All right, so Discord. There's two main ones that I kind of hang out in. Uh, oh, let's go here. Come on. All right. Let's copy that link and here. Oh, wrong Twitter account. Here we go. All right. Uh, Skylanders Discord. Here's the first one. And here, let's go get the link for the second one. I know this is brilliant live video. Watching me play on my phone. And... Here is number two. All right. So I just tweeted out once again, if you go to twitter.com slash STL Matt, even if you don't have a Twitter account, like you don't need a Twitter account, you can still view that page. So you can view my tweets and you can find um, those two links that I just tweeted out. So if you don't have a Discord account, you'll need to sign up, obviously. But those are the two Skylanders Discords that I am active in most often. I am not super active in them, but I, I check them out from time to time. Um, so you can go there and find him. Like Chris, I just saw you follow me on Twitter. So yeah, you can, you can, uh, find the links there. Have I ever played Minecraft? Yes. Yes, I have. I, I played a lot of Minecraft back in the day. My buddy got me into it and, um, the motion of the potion. beat the ender dragon a few times and built a lot of weird stuff over the years. I haven't played in a few years. Um, it's not because it's a bad game. It's just I, I, I've been busy doing other things. So I haven't played recently, but I, I have played many, many hours, probably hundreds of hours of Minecraft in my day. All right. Oh, here's the here's another one we were wondering about the the metallic green wash buckler who has the the paper peeled up it didn't quite sit right. But it's all good. Special swap for us. It's obviously been used in game because it has a hat on level six and all that. So we're all good. We're all good. Also technically a chase variant. And here's the other one. Metallic green gill grunt. Fear the 
<laughs> special guild rot. Looking good. Look in. Fear the fish. So glad to see that those variants work. So we'll be able to put them up in the shop. Rush hour. Wow, those are big numbers. Yes, rush hour. Yeah, Martin, I I'll, I'll have to get on that video because uh, that that could be a fun one. Because, yeah, there, there are a few things that just don't work the way they're supposed to. And they never, like, oh, I mean, I'll touch on this in the video, too. But I have a feeling, like, the Platinum Treasure Chest, I honestly think, like, they put the wrong chip in it. Like, they programmed the chip wrong. Because otherwise, well... I was going to say, otherwise they should have sent an update to the game to just like reprogram it, but um, but that was back in, that would have been Giants era with Battlegrounds. Although Battlegrounds was iOS. Well, they wouldn't have been able to update Giants though. So I, what I'm getting at is like I, they, they wouldn't have had the ability to update the games because they weren't connected to the internet. They didn't do that until Swap Force, I think, right? Although then, it, you know, once again, it makes you wonder, though, they, they could have, quote unquote, fixed it in in Swap Force and beyond if it actually had the right chip and just the game was programmed wrong, but they didn't. And so I think that they actually have the wrong chip in it. And so they can't fix it from the other end, unfortunately. The motion of the motion. Huh. Now that's strong. Yes, the platinum treasure chest is a variant. Um, it, it was from the the battleground set so the the hidden treasure that we got a few of today was kind of like the standard version and then the the platinum treasure chest is the variant version of the hidden treasure chest um, and from from what we can tell, it was always intended to be an in-game variant because they changed the name of it. And like in Swap Force, it has it has the category there, uh, like in the collection menu for a platinum treasure chest. Um, but as we all know, most of us know at least, um, it always appears as hidden treasure. So like it acts like a chase variant. That it looks different on the outside, but in game it's the same, and so that's what's kind of always led us to believe. Like I, I guess I've never talked to anybody about it. I've just made a lot of assumptions based on, you know, what what they've done with the games and such. And so I, I mean, if it because if it was intended to be in a, a chase variant, like then. Like they really messed up in Swap Force then. Uh, to my knowledge, there are are not any platinum treasure chests that work properly. I, I think they all work improperly. They, they all register as hidden treasure, and that's what makes me think that at the factory level, they 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 never programmed the the platinum treasure chest trip chips, and they just put hidden treasure chips in all of them. Which seems super odd to me. Like, why would they have so many extra hidden treasure if they actually wanted the platinum? I don't know. 
I don't get it. It's what it's one of those mysteries that we may never know the answer to. But a blaze of glory. Yeah, to my knowledge, they they all registered hidden treasure. Wow, level 20 Golden Queen. Nice. You can truly bank on. I reign supreme. Deal with the wheel. Check out my stats. Deal with the wheel. Yeah, definitely wrong chip. Yeah, try to get the achievement. You bought six of them so far. Oh man. Yeah, I I would just give up on it. I, I I've never heard of anybody actually getting it to although I mean if it worked properly, that person would probably just never know that they have something special. Yeah, I, I don't think any of it work properly. Are legendary variants of S2 characters playable in original? Yes, 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 yes. So if you take legendary Igniter, who is a Series 2 figure, and put him in SSA, he will play, but he will only play like, he'll just play like standard um igniter standard series one igniter it won't look like the legendary version um but you can still use him in the game definitely <laughs> ethan welcome back to the land of sound and the land of skylanders i'm assuming your class is done Fish. But yes, welcome back. Do I like cats or dogs? I I'm not a pet guy. I mean, I I don't hate animals, but I'm just not a pet guy. Growing up, we 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 had a few pets, but they were always like in cages. Like we had a few hamsters, we had some fish, but. I mean, the the reality is I I don't like taking care of animals either. So my fish never lasted very long. They last a few months before, you know, I didn't clean the tank enough, and well, you know what happens then. Um. So, yeah, I I'm never gonna get a cat or a dog. Um, in general, I try to avoid them. Because, I don't know, they're not my thing. I don't like getting fur all over me. It's, they're just not for me. Getting stronger. That's true, Martin. No one can say you didn't try. Because you certainly did. Certainly, certainly did. All right, Kitty, thanks for stopping by. I know it's going to be late there for you. Or getting getting late, I suppose. There will be more videos to watch, don't worry. Or you can always rewatch the old ones. Jump back in at the three hour and twenty four minute mark. See what you missed, which you're not missing that much right now. Just testing. It'll be more exciting to watch tomorrow's live stream. To see what we get in those packages. Because I'm excited too. Because, like I said, I I don't remember what's in these boxes. Like I don't. I think anything I open tomorrow is gonna be hard to beat the the bronze hot dog. But Polly, it's late for you too. 
what 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 time is it for you right now? You don't have to tell me exactly where you live, but coming. what time is it? Like it's we're coming up on two thirty here, two thirty p.m. where I am. Like I think we'd turn kitties like six hours ahead or eight hours. Oh, was it eight hours ahead maybe? So I'd make it like ten thirty. Mm, I don't like numbers. Oh wow. Like 1 a.m.? That is late. Yikes. Just realizing we got a lot of terrafins today. Anybody want terrafin? <laughs> Martin, I love that dedication. Even got four normal chests just in case they put the wrong chip in there. Uh, yeah, that that would have been something if they just swapped all the chips. It's feeding time. Yeah, Jojo, you're in the U.S. here too. 1 p.m. Sure. Still got a lot of daylight left. Getting into the middle of summer here. It'll still be light, eight, nine o'clock. Ethan, I, I mean, I don't have an exact time. Um, I think. I mean, looking at my table. I'm probably roughly halfway through the table. We've been scanning them in for about half an hour. So maybe another half hour here. I, I, I'd say another 30 to 60 minutes scanning wave. stuff, testing and resetting, uh, because I am going to have to switch games and, and do the vehicles and then switch games again to do the traps. Um, so it could be another hour doing that. And then, I mean, honestly, it'll take me another hour or two probably to to put the um, to actually get the inventory listed on the site. So I'm thinking, let's see, puts me at 3.30. 35 36 I, like i don't think the store is going to be updated before 6 p.m central time i would say at the earliest um but as soon as it is i will definitely post it on twitter twitter's the place to be um that's where i make all my one-off updates like that uh chad have i put the bug guy on to sell yet no like i was just saying um it, none of this stuff goes up on the site until everything's tested and reset. Um, and then I go go through and update the database on the site. So that is something, like I said, I, I don't think it's going to be updated until about 6 p.m. Central Time tonight. Um, so, yeah, there, there's that. So he, he, here's, here's another example. Uh, chase variant figure so the glow and the dark ones are technically chase variants so this is a sonic boom chase they they definitely did not play with because as you can see here it's level 5 2100 gold so i'm not going to reset that i'm going to leave that there um just because because i can but it, it, it's just that one more identifier that they built in from the very beginning trying to make sure that um that they weren't fake right speaking of that bug guy here you go make sure it actually works there's our thrillipede they didn't even play with him wow well the numbers speak for it my age, my kids, and I have money and time for me. 
Awesome. Awesome, Martin. Glad to hear it. Fear the fish. Looking good. Looking good. So, Chad, I I do occasionally um, post on Facebook as well. I, I don't as often just because of how Facebook works. And when I post, like, more than one time a day, like, they just don't send the post out to everybody in the group. I, I, I hate their algorithm. I hate the way things work over on Facebook. Um, so I don't post there as often, especially with, like, store updates. Because those can happen a lot more frequently. So I, I occasionally post something up there just to re remind people, hey, I, I do have a store and um, I am restocking things. Um, but for for like up to the minute updates of things that are happening throughout the day, like Twitter, like I'll post to Twitter 10, 20, 30 times a day. I don't care. Like that that's how Twitter works. It's it's that's what it's built for, right? It, it's built for that up to the minute information. So Polly, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for hanging out. Scorp, you sent me something on Twitter. Uh it's something I need to look at right now. Let me check it out. See what you got. Discord link. <laughs> uh, Scorp, I appreciate you taking the time. Um, but yeah, that's not, not something I'm going to spread around right now. All right. Uh, what we got? What we got? I need to crunch these numbers. Clobber and slobber. Bring the boom. Just got a notification that I have an eBay listing ending soon. Have to see if this is something I was actually interested in or if something I was just watching to see where it goes. Oh, I was interested in this one, but the price has shot up a bit. 22 bids. Yeah, that, that means there's too many other people watching this one. I'm not going to get it. Uh, let's see. So I was looking at this lot has like 48 figures. And there are some cool pieces in here that I would like to have on the shop. Like we got another uh, Rocky Roll. Got Trailblazer. Flipwreck. High five. Like they, they got that whole wave basically. Fling Kong. Um, yeah, but I think it's already up above where I want to pay. Like it's up to 62 bucks plus 10 bucks shipping. I have a feeling it's going to go higher. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. I'll keep an eye on it because I want to see where it ends up, but um, not going to bid on that one today. I've gotten to this point where I uh, the art of war. 
have to stop myself from bidding on everything that that passes through. Picture perfect. Just because, like, I, I I gotta get caught up on these. You know, I got a lot of stuff here, and like I I just get hooked on buying figures now. And Durian, welcome to the chat. Um, I I have unboxed the the two two boxes that two big boxes that I was planning to do today. Um, we're just going through and testing and resetting figures, um, so I can get them listed on the site. But it there will be more unboxings tomorrow if that's something you're interested in watching. Um, but otherwise, we're just hanging out. Racking up some watch hours uh, and talking about Skylanders. Whatever you feel like talking about. If you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, Red, set, yeah, let me know. But otherwise, you can sit back, relax, and uh, check out Everything some of the pieces we got today. We've already tested some of the big ones. We got um, Thrillipede and Buzzwing. Red, set, the big surprise was a bronze hot dog. Wasn't expecting that one. So that was a big find today. Chad, I, I mean, like I said too, it, even if you don't have a Twitter account, um, yeah, you, you you can just watch watch my Twitter account. Like you don't have to follow me. You can just keep a tab open to twitter.com slash Matt and refresh it every so often. Or just it may auto refresh nowadays. I don't, I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, got ways to go about it. Or you can assume by you know, just assume by eight o'clock or something tonight, I should have everything updated, and go check out the site. Yeah, maybe that's something I can do too. Put a, like a last updated on the site or something to make it a little bit easier to, to see. Let's see, did they actually use this legendary crystal? We, we got all one legendary crystal or what one creation crystal at all. How do you guys like that character? I've never felt so alive. A life ninja. That looks like he's on fire. That I mean, that seriously is a lot more like a fire character than it does a life character. Oh, man. All right, so let me see if I can boot this up quickly. I, I actually have my 3DS handy, so I can fix this right away. All right. So I know you guys can't see this right now, but I'm just going to reset this with my 3DS and Skylanders Giants. And come on. And now I put it back on the portal and boom, we have a reset Welcome creation crystal. crystal. Magic. Magic, I tell you. First, choose a battle class. Each class uses a unique type of weapon. All right. So let's take that off, make sure I don't actually choose a battle class. Um, but yeah, so that legendary crystal will be up in the shop later. Bolt and lightning. My power will haunt you. What's the favorite game character selling at the moment? Have you noticed a trend? Um, I I would say overall it's a little bit too early to tell. I will say I've been very surprised how well superchargers have been selling. And not even just superchargers figures, but the vehicles. My name is Tidefield. 
And along with my own unique set of skills, I offer training to all imaginators. Have I seriously not put Tide Pool on the portal before? I know I I, I own Tide Pool. I assure you, I own Tide Pool. Huh. Well, there you go. I think I can make these numbers work. Um but yeah, Martin, I the, the the big surprise for me early on has been superchargers. Um part of me thinks it's because a lot of people kind of passed on superchargers the first time around. They said, No, I don't want a raising game. No, that's not for me. And um, so now like coming back to it and people just purely in it for like collecting, I think. That's why I'm seeing a few more sales there, maybe. Ooh, level 20. Oh, now that's um, so, like, that, that that's kind of my thought process. Of the Jojo, I do not have every variant. Um, they, they, I, I did at one point. I mean, they, they fall into the same category. Like, I bought them all initially. I bought them all at retail. Um, but then sold off the variants but i do still have the standard version of every figure of every sensei so i can at least play with every character but i don't have all the variants anymore which is unfortunate because yeah some of those are gonna be pricey but the good news is like i have regular chompy mage i just don't have jingle bell chompy mage which is a lot easier to find but then you get like the i mean the legendary shouldn't be too bad um, to get my hands on again, but like the, um, uh, what am I thinking of? The mystical variants. I thought like mystical bad juju looks really good. And I kind of wish I would have kept that one, um, but that'll be a little bit harder to get my hands on too. Nowhere to hide. Love 3DS cheat to reset. Same, no one can do anything about blue chest. What do you mean, Martin? What do you mean can't do anything about the blue chest? Like, you don't need to reset chests at all. Like, they they work on multiple consoles. Like, it, uh, like this blue chest that I got, like, it'll work on my console just fine and work on somebody else. Like, the, the, the only thing is, like, I... Um, I've already unlocked the the blue chests, the, their content. So I don't think it's going to do anything on my game. So I think the one I got today is actually from Cursed Tiki Temple. Um, actually, here let, let me let me put it on the board and see if it doesn't. I, I don't I don't think it'll do anything. Because I've already put that chest on the portal. Looks like chicken scratch to me. Whip up a storm. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to do anything for me because I already unlocked this one. But if someone else. Oh. Oh. Now you open up? That was weird. Okay, so apparently it will be just like a But yeah, like you can keep using them on, on multiple systems. You don't need to reset anything. Smasher weapon. New swashbuckler weapon. New sentinel weapon. Weapon. New quick shot weapon. New ninja weapon. New knife weapon. New sorcerer weapon. All right. So you can still get stuff on. Bone 
yeah yeah that that's that's a good point i i, I see what you mean there um but that's why back in the day like i said i i remember people who were like each person would buy 10 chests and then they would send them to each other like trade them because then there'd be t 10 different chests for for anyone else and so then you only had to, you know, buy 10, but you got the contents of 20. Of how good looking weapons have garbage stats <laughs> and ugly ones have awesome stats. Yeah, I, I mean, sometimes though, you, you have to remember just good looking and ugly are, you know, beauties in the eye of the beholder. Um, and I, I, I've said it before, like, one of my least favorite um, swap force characters was Fire Kraken, but we've we've run across people in chat who who love Fire Kraken, or at least don't hate him as much as I do. So it, it, it's going to be different for everybody, and like every character is going to be someone's favorite. That's what I always say. Every character is going to be someone's favorite, and so I think the same could probably be said of the, most of the weapons too. Every weapon is going to be somebody's favorite. You may not like it, but somebody else will. Fear the fish. Any last wishes? Impressive powers. Any last wishes? Enchanting, aren't they? Fear the dark. Go, fish! League Racer, welcome. Welcome to chat. Welcome to the live stream. Just in time for another turkey hat. That turkey hat must have had some good stats on it. I've seen it on a few characters now. And I mean, th th there's there's a decent example that I would agree with Enduran. Like, a lot of the hats I don't feel look the greatest, but if they have good stats, who cares? The flames are growing. Does anyone remember the original design of like Pop? I. I don't recall exactly what it looked like, but I do remember it being different. And like for the longest time, I think on my website, even I had the wrong picture up because I had the original rendered design of what they put out there. Oh, and then they're like, oh, no, we're going to release this figure instead. Catch a so I don't recall exactly what was different about it, but yeah, I know there was something. League Racer, um, we are just testing and resetting all the figures that I unboxed today. So kind of racking up some, some watch hours and um, making sure all the figures work before I list them in the shop. If you're not familiar, I have a shop you can go check out, skylanderscharacterlist.com slash shop. Um, everything that gets scanned through here today will be up in the shop by the end of the day for purchase if that's something you're looking for um, if you live in the U.S. since I only ship to the U.S. Fire 
But yeah, that's what we're working on right now. If you're looking for more unboxings, um, I will have more unboxings. Probably not tonight because this is taking longer than I thought it would. Um, but we will have more unboxing videos tomorrow if you want to come back and check those out. Um, I do have six more packages to unbox at, at this moment. And I think I have a few more on their way. Um, but I have six more in this room right now, actually. Since my table got full, I, I started with the two biggest boxes. And... It, it was hundreds of figures and <laughs> I couldn't like I I just had that that's all I could unbox right now I, I ran out of room oh you live in Holland okay so yeah the, the, the shop is not for you I guess right now but yeah that, that that's what we're doing we're just hanging out talking about Skylanders we do this every couple usually every couple of days um like I, I usually have something to unbox at least once a week, just trying to keep inventory in the store. So if you like watching unboxings and stuff like that, you can come check it out. Um, otherwise, we're just talking Skylanders. Um, I just got back from vacation, so I haven't gotten back into my normal uh, streaming schedule where I usually stream one of the games. Right now, we're playing through Skylanders Swap Force. Um, but... Not this week, because I got to get caught up with the, the shop inventory and such. Spyro and Trigger have a guild ground your favorite. I love all characters. Yeah, there you go. They, exactly. Like, th th there's not, like, bad Skylanders. Really. Well, there may be a few bad Skylanders. I've always said there's no bad Skylanders games. But people always want me to rank them, so I do. You sold 180 Skylanders for $20. Why didn't you sell them to me? I would gladly pay that price. You got any more? Planning on getting Boom Jet Free Ranger and Jetstream? All right, all right. I'll be, I'll be looking for it. Wow, a lot of these haven't been used. Kind of sad. Go fish. Strap to the gear. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's wrong with Prison Break? I can think of worse Skylanders than Prison Break. I mean, like I was just talking about before, Fire Kraken. Oof. No, thank you. Not for me. Not my style. Bolt and Lightning. My power will haunt you. And lightning. Trap team for uh, uh, Chris. Are we talking like Xbox One? I'm assuming. If it if it's for Xbox 360, you shouldn't be paying that. Um, if it's for Xbox One, it's because it's the newest console. Looking shot. So there were a lot fewer cop a lot fewer copies made for Xbox One than there were for Xbox 360. Um, because of the way Xbox works, you need the specific portal. Not, like not only the specific game disc, but the specific shot. portal for Xbox One, um, which means now that everybody has upgraded their systems over the past five, six years from the 360 to the Xbox One or the Xbox Series X or S or what, whatever their naming scheme is, which is dumb. Um, that's why I love PlayStation 2. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Easy to remember. Um Xbox, I don't know what they're doing with their names. 
Um, but yeah, the, the, the Xbox One now works with the current consoles. And so you need that specific game and that specific portal, especially for Trap Team, because you need the Trap Team portal. And there were just not many of them made back then. But everybody wants them now. And therefore, it's expensive. But yeah, it's all supply and demand. I know I I, I, I came across, like I had a Trap Team Xbox One portal um, back before I opened the shop. And... Like I saw they were selling for like 70, 80 bucks on eBay. I, I, I listed mine for 50, I think. And it sold in like, I, I think it was like 12 hours. It, it It's ridiculous right now. Um, 200, I think is still a bit pricey. Um, you should be able to buy the game for like 20, 25 and the portal like 50 to 75 and i mean the fig you don't need the figures unless you're like a new inbox collector or whatever um so i i definitely wouldn't pay 200 but be prepared to pay more than you want Martin, it's true. I, I I would love to sell to Europe as well. Um, but like we talked about, because of, of shipping and customs fees and such, it just doesn't make sense. Like the, the way to do it would be to set up a European location somewhere. So the shipping is actually reasonable. I'm shipping like Europe to Europe instead of the US to Europe. And I'm not at that point yet. Like I said, my shop has only been open for a month. I, I I'm not I, I I should not even be thinking about franchising at this point. Um, that's something that could happen down the road, but we we, we gotta hold on for a minute. Hey, I was wrong. We did get a stump smash today. Drop the hammer. The giveaway figures, yes. Uh, Lee Racer, yes, I, I do for giveaways. Giveaways are open worldwide. Um, I did that with my Saturday Super Stream. I had to ship four packages, I think, internationally. Uh, well, like we we had like twelve giveaways, and I did have to ship a few international. I will do that. Um, but that that all, I mean. You're still responsible for any customs fees that may may happen because I, I I can't pay those ahead of time. So that that's still on your end, um, but I will pay the shipping for those. It's expensive. Like th those four orders, I had to pay like a hundred dollars shipping um, to get those out there. So it wasn't cheap by any means. Hey, Grims, yeah, if you, I mean, if you're looking to unload figures, uh, we can we can talk. Uh, if, if you find me on either here, uh, I'll, I'll drop this on the bottom of the screen again. Uh, you can either follow me on Twitter, Facebook, it's twitter.com slash SCLMAT, or facebook.com slash Skylanders Character List, or if you just want to email me, Matt at SkylandersCharacterList.com. That's Matt at SkylandersCharacterList.com. Um, and start off, just let me know what you have. Either give me a list or send me pictures, uh, whatever works for you, and, and we can we can start talking. Because, yes, I, I have bought figures from, from people before, from community members before. Just be aware of that, I mean, you know I am... Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Does this figure not work? We might actually have our first broken figure. Uh oh. Uh, light core prison break may not work. I'll, I'll try testing him in another game too, just to double check, but it's not looking good right now. Um, 
so yeah, just know that. I mean, I'm buying them to resell them. So I don't pay a lot. But if you want to get rid of them fast, we can talk. Um, I mean, for 180 figures, I, I definitely pay more than 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you still have figures that you that you want to get rid of, like I said, we can talk. Know that they'll be good, going to a good home. For Xbox One trapped you in the portal, got both for like 50 bucks. There you go. Yeah. That's not bad. There you go. Four dollars for the game, thirty dollars for a portal. That's not that's not too bad. Ah uh, no, no, I wouldn't trust Disney with it. I mean, well, Disney has the money, and I love what Disney does in general. Oh, Disney doesn't have the best track record with video games. I mean, any anything from Disney Infinity, which I think they made some big mistakes with, um, to other just uh, just other Disney video games. Uh, like they're all okay, but none of them are great. And so I, I, I just don't, I, I, I don't like it going down that path. You heard it folks, drop the hammer on the subscribe button or stump smash the subscribe button. It's the way to do it. It's the way. Quentin, um, I, it, it's been a long time since I played on the PS4. I feel like things might load a little bit faster. And I, I mean, I've had people comment on the graphics and stuff. Like, it's been a while since I played. I, I mean, they may be uh, upscaling them a little bit. But, I mean, it was never... Skylanders was never a, a, a game that was about, you know, high quality graphics and stuff. It's a kid's game. So, I mean, you can see it here. I, I mean, I think it plays well. I don't know how much better it can really get just by throwing it on another console that it wasn't built for. No, Oscar, we did not get a Series 2 go grunt. Sorry. Not today. Stay tuned. Maybe another day. Go ahead. Snake my day. Oscar, I, I, I do play this on PS5 right now. Um, just because it's... My newest console, my PS4 was having some problems, and uh, I got a PS5 so I could stream this. But I can only stream the last four games because the first two games aren't on on PS4. So, Evangelist, welcome back. Face the truth. I'm awesome. The yeah, Martin, that's that, that's true too, and, and I I've thought about that for an international store. Um, like, I would probably still end up shipping a bunch of stuff from the U.S. to a location in Europe. But hey, that would also allow me then to kind of reverse it and say, well, okay, you buy all the stuff in Europe then and ship it over to the U.S. and we can kind of trade back and forth that way. But it's also just shipping in bulk like that 
makes a little bit more sense too. Like if I'm if I'm shipping a thousand or two thousand dollars worth of product over in one shipment that I know I'm gonna make money on, it makes a little more sense than an individual person having to pay, you know, fifty dollars in shipping just to get ten figures. So yeah, I, I, I've thought about it. And I mean, that's going to be a roadblock for sure. Um, whether I can buy enough inventory locally wherever we set up shop, um, but that that's also going to be part of the challenge to, you know, develop a relationship with someone internationally that I can trust to you know buy stuff for me or whatever, and run the shop over there really. So, Quentin, yeah, I, I like I got tracking on all of those packages, all of the giveaway packages that I sent out. Um, but like I said, once they leave the U.S., the like, like it's not always handled by USPS, the United States Postal Service that I shipped it with. It, it's, it's handled by some international partner they have, and they're not always required to um scan the packages in the same way that the usps scans them when they're within the us um so like i have tracking on all of them and it'll usually tell me at least when it's delivered but i don't always get the updates in between and so like that i'm looking at the tracking right now and like it's just ever since the end of may it's just said in transit to next facility. And so that like that's that's unfortunately all the information I get. And that's part of the reason I don't like shipping internationally is because I it not only takes so long, but I I just can't keep tabs on it. I don't get updates on it. And so if something goes wrong, it could just be, well, that package is gone forever because I don't know where the last location was. Like that, that, that's just how, how international shipping works with USPS. And like I said, if I used a different company, um, say UPS or FedEx or DHL or something that does work a little bit better internationally, it's also going to cost me two to three times as much to ship that package. And so it, it doesn't make sense. Blast and furious! I am on a hot streak! Blast and furious! All right, we're getting to the last, like, I don't know, two dozen characters or so that I need to actually test and reset. Um, and then, like I said, I will jump over to superchargers so I can reset the vehicles. And then I'm going to jump into trap team so I can test all the traps and make sure they work. Um in particular, I need to. There's a hand. There's one or two of them I do need to check and see if they're the variant versions of the traps or if they're the standard versions. Um, but just in general, make sure all the traps work. Um, so we're getting there. Um, yeah, maybe another half hour or so. Should be done by like 4 p.m. Central Time with this portion of it and then i'm gonna jump offline Ooh, that's a big cloud um oh, the sky's the limit. that actually works really well with jetvac 
have a dark, dark stormy cloud over him, I think. Um, so yeah, w w once, once we finish this up, then, well, I'm going to find some food. And then <laughs> once I'm fed again, um, I will get these up on the site. But even though there's hundreds of characters, like the, the way I update the database, like it doesn't take nearly as long as um, this this portion of unboxing and, and re testing and resetting does. So it shouldn't take another, you know, what are we at, four hours now? Like, I, I think I should be done with that portion in, I mean, hopefully in like two hours or so, maybe less. But that's the goal. That's the goal. Like I said, be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to find out exactly when I update stuff. But so, Chris, yeah, I, I, you can use the vehicles in Imaginators, um, and I, I showed this last time I was doing this. Um, but like, they just have the racing mode, and so I can put them on and make sure that they they register yet, but I can't reset them. And that's that's one of the things I that I always want to do. Um, I, I I like to give people clean figures, as I call them. Um, so I I always test and reset. And the vehicles have upgrades, especially in Imaginators. They they have their own um, currency that you can collect, and then they have upgrades. Um, and so I always want to reset them to their standard version. Um, and I have to do that in Superchargers. Why do Skylanders with their hats from other games load into Imaginators while in Imaginators? No, oh, that's a clock. Um, it, it, it's because they that well, I mean, they just didn't want to create new hats because they had enough other parts and stuff with Imaginators to deal with. However, the hats are um, saved on to the chip, so they're saved on to the actual figure. And they were still nice enough to carry over the code for those hats. So they show up. So there's nothing new to collect, but they still allow them to appear and allow their stats to uh, help out your characters and such. So it's it, it's all just how they decide to program it. Um, like they, they could have easily just said, yeah, no hats, even if your character's wearing a hat. It's not going to show up in Imaginators, but they didn't. They said no. Okay, we can copy those those lines of code over to the new game and and at least allow you to view view them. <laughs> yeah, I and that's the thing, Martin. Um, the the folks that think they're willing to help probably don't realize how much of a commitment I would require. Like it, it, it would at least be like a, a part-time job. Um, and depending how quickly it grows, like it could grow into almost a full-time job. And I mean, the money I'm making right now, at least isn't enough to pay someone a full-time salary so it yeah I, I i don't think that that's part of the reason i i can't do anything with right now um, not only i'm not at that point financially but i need to find that person who can really give me that commitment My power will haunt you. All right, here's one for the for for the chat. What are the best classes for imaginators? So what do you mean best battle class? So 
saw on YouTube someone is doing a where are they now on former pink sky tubers. Nice. Oh, nice. Crazy. That that's that's interesting. Well you can tell them I'm I'm back at it. Hopefully bigger and better than before. Oscar, yeah, I know. I I've thought about it before, especially when with that last uh, that last lot that we had that had all the level twenty characters. It feels bad from time to time, but I, like I've asked people, like, would you rather have a level one character when you buy from my shop? Would you rather have level one characters or level twenty? And the overwhelming response is level one. Everybody wants them reset. Like that's the first thing they're like. If I sent you a level twenty character, the first thing they're going to do is reset it so they can level it up themselves. So that that's what we do. Jojo, that's what I like to see. I keep hearing people saying, "Yeah, I, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy," and then. See what happens. It's it's all good, Vangelis. I know internet can be slow. It's not a big deal. I know that there's already a delay between like me talking and the chat. And so it happens. Sounds good, Grims. I'll I'll check it out when I'm when I'm done with this. Born to burn. All right, Quentin. Uh, big things I got in the lots. So, guys in the chat, feel free to call stuff out if I miss it. Um, the big ones for me, we got Thrillpede and Buzzwing. I haven't had those before. Those are kind of rare. Um, the the big, big, big find today is this here bronze hot dog. Um, this is not something I was expecting to get. It's It kind of surprised me. <laughs> it very much surprised me. Um, but I think that will be going up in the shop as well. Um, so yeah, bronze hot dog there. That's probably the biggest find. Uh, we got a number of imaginators. Um, let's see if I can remember them actually. Got the tide pool, uh, buckshot, tri tip, uh, flare wolf, looking solid as a crop, and then I think just like golden queen, kingpin. Um, so th th those were those were the major ones, I think. There were some other decent pieces, some. Some variants that we haven't seen in a while, or I just haven't had in the shop at all. Um, that were nice. Got a uh, metallic green gill grunt, a metallic green washbuckler. Oh, we did get a sky a sunscraper spire and midnight museum and um, Griffin Park Observatory. So those are always nice. Uh, spring ahead dive bomber. Haven't seen him before. That vehicle, I should say. We got we got a blue chest. We didn't get any of the figures that go along with it, but we did get a blue chest. I'm pretty sure this is the blue chest from Curse Tiki Temple. If it follows our the research that, that, that we've been trying to do to try to figure out which one is which. Uh, we got quite a few legendary variants today. Protect and search. Uh, from various games a bunch of them from giants some from, like got a legendary chop shop Full disclosure. um yeah so i mean some, some pretty good stuff there Protect and search.
Slice and dice. Does my power please? Slice and dice. Oscar, I did put, um, yeah, I, I I did test out the the hot dog. Um, it does work. I'll, I'll put. It, we're almost done with the figures here. I'll I'll put it on again in a minute. But just let me get through these last like dozen or so, and then I can put them on again. JoJo shipping. Um, it, it's it's three ninety five plus a dollar per item in your cart. Not a single flaw in sight. Out of sight. So basically, three ninety five plus the number of items. It was the most common Skylander I received. So I mean, it, it's going to be one of the starter pack figures. Um. So the SSA starter packs are pretty common, but I think the ones I see most often are actually Blast Zone and Washbuckler. I think I've gotten more of them than anything else. Be afraid of the bug. My power has grown! I mean, yeah, Tree Rex is definitely up there too, uh, as far as most common. But I think I, I think I've actually gotten more Washbuckler and and Blastoise. Stay frosty. That's true. There, there were a lot of Series One Guild Runs today. Um. But yeah, the, like oddly enough, though the 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 series one Gil grunts actually sell, whereas I don't sell Washbuckler and Blast Zone. Like they just like it feels like everybody has them, and so they just don't sell as well. Whereas I think some people who probably like got into the game during Swap Force since so they didn't get some of the oh, early yeah. figures, and and so. Um, some of the series one stuff does actually sell yet, awesome. even though if we think it's common. All beard out. As far as aftermarket flocking of figures goes, it'd be hard to do that on Skyline without killing chips. <laughs> I I don't know. Like, would it? Would the electricity flow through the plastic though to get to the chip? Like I, I, I don't know enough about the process to know if that would actually kill it or not. Mind over matter. But yeah, that's an in interesting thought, Brian. Yeah. The right ingredients. Eat this. Ready to rock it. Number of five. All right, so all the imaginators work. That's good. When I'm gonna do an Imaginator stream, I that's a good question. It, like I said, I we're working through Swap Force right now. We're getting towards the end of that, I think. Actually, maybe not. Those levels are so long. I always forget. Um, all right, here, like promised, is bronze hot dog in Imaginators. It's listed as rare. 
And like I said, they, they haven't played with it, so it still has the level 5 with 2100. Uh, you can't see that here. Um, level 5 with 2100 gold. Here, I can put it on the portal again because that was probably all covered up by that question right there. But here you go. Yeah, hot dog rare. And then, yeah, level 5, 2100 gold. It's legit chase variant. It's all good. Um, yes, Bazooka Firefox. Awesome. But yeah, uh, Imaginator Stream. So we're going through um, Swap Force right now. Um, I just realized I haven't tested my uh, broken figures yet, so we're going to do that quickly. Um, Rock and roll. But it, it, it'll... I mean, it'll either be superchargers or imaginators after um, swap force, and whichever one I don't do after that. So I will get there eventually for sure, and I'll probably play through all of them multiple times over the next few months and years. But just haven't gotten there yet. So we did get a broken jawbreaker today. Um. I don't know if I, 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 shoot, I forget who that was now. That was interested in Jawbreaker. Um, so we got a broken one. Missing both arms. So that's something you're interested in. We, once again, I'll, I'll have to make an updated post about all the broken figures that I have to see if anybody's interested in it. But yeah, here, here's a broken Jawbreaker. Like, missing both arms. All right. Um... All right, so here's the 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 base of the nitro uh, head rush. Taking charge. So yeah, nitro head rush still works. The the base still works, but she's completely separated from the base. So like the figure itself isn't actually broken; it's just separated from the base. And wow, level twenty. They really even like this. Stronger than I imagine. You are even stronger than I imagined. Taking charge. I can't say that I've seen this video about how Skylanders is terrible. I mean, everybody's going to have their own opinion. I, I'll be the first to admit Skylanders is not going to be for everybody. Like, yes, it was designed as a kid's game. Yes, I enjoy playing it. It's not going to stop me from playing it because it was designed for 12-year-olds. Um, I mean, look at me playing it now. I do live streams about it. I collect the figures. I talk about Skylanders all day. I don't care. Someone, uh, someone's opinion, like, j just like every Skylanders game is going to be someone's favorite, just like every Skylanders character is going to be someone's favorite. Every video game is going to be someone's favorite. And and that means it, it's not always going to be Skylanders. Some people are going to think Skylanders is the worst game ever. I get it. I don't care. More Skylanders for me. Can you imagine if, if everybody in the world loved Skylanders as much as we do, how hard it would be to get figures? be ridiculous i mean it'd be the problem you're running into with like amiibo it's like there's a lot more amiibo fans right now than there are skylanders fans and look how hard it is to get figures so, sometimes it's nice not to have uh everybody on board with the thing we love looking strong I mean, if everybody loved them and everybody's holding on to them and no one was selling them, the is it'd be, a, I mean, we either have to pay a hundred times more than we are now, or we just wouldn't be able to get figures because everybody's holding on to them because they all love them so much. <laughs> cooked perfectly yes rare hot dogs are not as good All right. Boom, 
Shakalaka. Honestly, though, if, if someone wants to show, uh, like, send me a link to that video that says Skylanders are terrible, I, I would be interested in watching it. But, I mean, th that's the thing, too. Sometimes people make videos like that just to get clicks, just to get people to watch. I mean, whether or not that's how they actually feel about it is a whole other topic, but they're going to title a video like that just so we all watch and, and react and and share it with other people like you guys are sharing it with me and saying hey have you seen this video well there you go burning up the chart fire it up yeah i mean yes and no jojo um i mean it, part of it's intentional like they're still making their money um but they they don't flood the market like that was part of the downfall of of disney infinity and skylanders is in 2013 2014 2015 even they produced way too many figures and they lost money because they couldn't sell those figures the way they wanted to that, that's why swap force figures are everywhere is because they overproduced them um and then it, that was the same year they got competition from disney infinity but th there, there's stories about uh disney infinity figures like i think it's like the hulk figure uh they just way overproduced and they couldn't do anything with and they couldn't sell them but that's part of the reason you know uh, amiibo they, they they've produced they've been starting to produce more and more and they do reproduce some figures over time um but they keep the market at a healthy level where there there's still a huge demand for them because not everybody can get their hands on them and so people still want them but it's it, it's not low enough that people are like oh well i'm never going to be able to find these figures it's it's like just the right amount like they they kind of found that sweet spot um because i mean that that's honestly what they want is like they want their figures to be sold out they want everybody to have bought them like that 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 also keeps the stores interested and because then it's not just the stock sitting on the shelves for months and months and months or years it's like oh we can actually sell through this product we'll buy some more so the next time they buy some they, they put out a new product a new figure Stores like yeah yeah we'll we'll keep buying this because it keeps it, it keeps selling. So so it all works. It all works. <laughs> Brian, I did I did actually think about that while I was saying that. <laughs> it might be easier because we still be getting new games and toys. Um, like I yeah, but just just looking at our like our current situation where we are now and such. Um, uh like that that's kind of where we're at with the used market i guess There's a solid question. What Skylanders figure do you think should have gotten a true variant? When you say true variant, you mean like in-game variant? Because I mean, Fright Rider definitely got a variant. Chase, he got the Halloween one. Um, but... Um... I know I used to have an answer for this. What did I want? I wanted, uh... Drobot. That, that, that was one. 
thought Drobot should have had a, a variant. Because he's such a great figure and so many people like him. But he never got a variant. Like, he got a light core figure, which kind of sucked. Because we, we were just talking about that earlier today. Like, the, the light core Drobot, his eyes should have glowed. Not just a spot on his back. Um, and so, like, that... That is something I would have liked to see. Um, All right, vehicle testing. Protect and search. Yeah, we'll put all the magic items on too. Um, I'll get to the magic items in, when I go to trap team because they appear better there. I like uh, like how they show up there. All right, so it looks like this might actually be reset already, but we do it just because we can. So I always look here. Um, Make sure it looks normal in that picture. It doesn't have any upgrades. And then when it pops back here, you see the little gear symbol down there before it switches over to the coins. Because there's separate currencies for each. Hot streak. Five hundred eighty-nine. No, not doing that. Hot streak. No, Martin. I, I, I can reset the vehicles, and but I have to do it in superchargers. I can't do it in imaginators. That's why I had to switch games. So here. Um, I have a bunch of hot streaks here now. <laughs> hot streak. So it looks like he has a few upgrades on this vehicle. You notice the coins down there, 1,004. Uh, I, I forget what that currency is called. Was, was it just like gears or something? But, um, yeah. So we we'll swap back here. So like you could buy upgrades. Yeah, he's maxed out here. Uh, but yeah, we reset the vehicles. And if you watch down on the lower left, it'll, it'll say zero gears after this reset. So that that looks different already. The upgrades are gone. And you get zero gears down there. You can even double check these upgrades. Like you have, oh, no, not his upgrades. These upgrades. All these upgrades are gone. So yeah, you can, you can totally reset them in superchargers, just not in imaginators. Gear bits. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out. It's been a long time since I played Superchargers. Yeah. This hot streak was rich. Wow. All sorts of gear bits. Hot streak. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Um, but we do know that they produced more figures for Swap Force than any other game. So, um, I think it's fair to say that they overproduced. Um, stealth stinger. I, I, I still stand by, like, if they didn't have the competition of Disney Infinity that year, they would have been just fine. I think they produced the right amount. But they should have known that Disney was coming out with Disney Still Infinity, Stinger. and they should have planned accordingly. They should not have kept ramping up production numbers year after year after year. Yeah. <laughs> 
Evangelist, no, I, I actually don't have kids, and that's part of the reason I can, I can do stuff like this. I have extra time and money to run my own business and uh, uh, spend money on Skylanders. But yes. Sky Slicer. Um, if I had kids, they would be very spoiled. That's for sure. Shield Striker. Supercharged. Supercharged. Nothing to see here. You're right, there's gonna be nothing to see here. I'm gonna erase it all. Shield striker. Supercharge. Sea Shadow. Sea Shadow. When did ads get on the shop? Ads have always been on the shop. Um, if you have a version without ads, it must have been well, either ad blocked or a weird cached version of the site that somehow avoided ads. Um, they've been getting more annoying though, and I, I really want to turn them off. Um, I don't like how the Google ads are placed like in between items. I I don't like that at all. I really don't. Nothing to see here. Um, but until until the store is making enough money on its own, I'm going to leave them there. Um, basically, I when I added the, the the shop to the site, the hosting costs for the site got more expensive. And so be, between like uh, cost of the site and the giveaways and such that I'm doing, like I need to make sure the costs even out. So um, over time, ads will start to disappear again as I start making more income from other avenues. But right now, yeah, there's ads. Crypt Crusher. Vangelis, thank you very much. Appreciate you leaving the stream up. It's what's known as Mark Creep in toy industry. Yeah, the better toy line performs, the more stores want it. Oh yeah, yeah. I like. I I understand. I understand that. But they. I mean. It's one thing when you're the only player in the industry, in the genre, uh, which they were for the first two years. They had basically zero competition. Um, did I just reset this one? I think I did, but do it again anyway. Um, so, I mean, I, like, I get it from a business point of view, but, I mean, look what happened, too. They, they ended up having to sell off a lot of their stock uh, below retail price because stores didn't buy it. So, Burn cycle. yeah, I, I I always say that the, the beginning of the end was actually Swap Force for, for Skylanders because that, that's where, yes, they made a lot of money, but they also had to scrap a lot of product. Burn cycle. Soy sauce. I'm not 100% on this one since I didn't actually play it on the Wii. Spyro's Adventure have more content than the PS3 and Xbox 360 counterparts. Um, what, what do you think is extra? What, what wouldn't the PS3 and Xbox 360 have? Burn cycle. 
I'm not sure what's different, if there is anything different. If anything, I would think the Wii version had less because it was an older console. But if anyone can, can prove me wrong, I, I'd be happy to learn. I always have to learn about stuff like that. Nothing to see here. Splatter Splasher. You see, people talk about glitches all the time. I don't feel I ever ran into any glitches. I I played my, all my Skylanders games on PlayStation, with the exception of um, Superchargers year when there were the Nintendo exclusive characters. Then I I played a little bit on Nintendo. Um, but otherwise, I always play on PlayStation. I've I've never really run into Sun glitches. Runner. Um, I can imagine it because like the Wii was always the, the best seller. And so I think it was kind of designed for the Wii and then Sun almost Runner. ported it onto the other consoles. But yeah, I don't know. It's my least favorite Skylander of each gimmick. Um, least favorite giant. I'd probably say Swarm, just because I, I mean, in general, I don't, I don't like a lot of the air element uh, that's been documented. Um, Sky Slicer. It's, pro it's probably going to revolve around air a lot, actually. Uh, least favorite Swapper. Oh, no, least favorite Swapper has got to be Fire Uh Can't stand that guy. Um Least favorite trap master. Sky Slicer. <sighs> Stormblade is actually pretty good. Gusta was actually decent, so maybe not the air there. Head rush I never really got into. Head rush might be bad. Or not not for me. Not my style. It, it, like I said, that's the thing you need to remember. It's, it's just what's what's not for me might be for somebody else. Just different play style or different whatever. Um, Dive bomber, power propeller, torpedo buoys, twin torpedo tubes. Nothing to see here. Let's see, uh, so trap master, superchargers. I mean, well, that was all of them. There was really a gimmick unless i mean are the vehicles the gimmicks um least favorite vehicle hmm, hmm, hmm. not a big fan of like sunrunner or jetstream really once again the kind of the air air versions of things um and imaginators i mean i don't know once again what's the gimmick should make a video about that. What's the gimmick? Uh, Chad, what games do I play outside of Skylanders? Not a lot right now. I a lot of time and energy focused around Skylanders. Um, but no, I, I I do play other things. I I've said I I like my platformers, so I like Ratchet and Clank and Ukulele, and um, you know I play Mario games. I play Call of Duty. I play. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Um, variety of games. I mean, some main, uh, mostly mainstream stuff. I don't get into too much stuff that's not mainstream. Um, but yeah. It, it, that is true, Soy Sauce. Um, was originally, like, they tried to sell it basically to Nintendo and say, hey, we got a nice family game here for you. And they turned him down and said, no, nope, okay. Well, then we will sell it to the masses and everybody can Plus get in like, on the, the money. So, yeah. Hold the score. Buzzwing. Fair enough, Martin. 
fair enough. I mean, I like while I agree that shouldn't happen. I have a hard time calling that a glitch, though, too. Like that. Mm -hmm. I, I I suppose it could qualify. I don't know. But yeah, that that those are few and far between me that I've ever had to reset a level. Yeah, well, um, the, the the biggest news of the day was was this here E3 bronze hot dog. Um, that was definitely the the biggest news today. Uh, we did get a few other things. We got a Thrillipede, Buzzwing. We got this blue chest. We didn't get any of the characters that go with the blue chests, um, but we did get a blue chest. So there's that. Um. <laughs> The rabbit from Su I, I love how like no one gives him his proper name. It's always like the bug guy or the rabbit or, yeah, we got Thrillipede, like the original Thrillipede. We we actually got excited Thrillipede too. The variant we got both the variant and the standard version. Um, you dislike Stealth House helicopter? Oh, I I, I love the Stealth Stinger. Like it it, it it it's only decent in game, I guess. But as far as the figure goes, I love it. <laughs> yeah all right um i think that was the last of the vehicles so i can jump back over to trap team and finish off the testing so we're almost done with this stream <laughs> i say that five hours into the stream we're almost done yay um yeah this stream i did not think it would take this long but it is what it is we're having a good time. I'm I, I'm just thrilled to see there's so many people here. And it's stuck around for so long. I mean, especially it, like it's not even the weekend. It's a Thursday afternoon or evening for many of you. All right, so on to trap team. Okay, I, I I appreciate that reasoning. They're life size and usable. I'd rather pilot a UFO than a helicopter. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Skylanders and Radinators to rip off the trap team. I I would say it's an extension of trap team. They were both made by Toys for Bob, and I think Imaginators is where they wanted to go. Eventually, like they knew back at trap team, I think they knew that. I think they knew that's where they wanted to, the direction they wanted to head. And they just either didn't have time or didn't. Oh. All right. Um, just a moment. I always forget this. And once again, I. Didn't bring a. Trap team portal.
All right. Well, good news is when I got up, I also found two Skylanders I knocked off the table. So I have to reset them too. Thankfully, I can test them both in trap team. So we're all good. Yeah, I mean, I, this would be, yeah, going into year 11. Oh, man. I mean, we're coming up on the 10th anniversary of the game. It's crazy. Cut to the chase. These stats are styling. Cut to the chase. The motion of the potion. All right. Ooh, look at all these numbers. So those figures worked as well. All good. All good. Even though I knocked them off the table. The motion of the potion. So now testing magic items and traps, and we should be good to go. Golden Queen. The golden era begins. Wolfgang. The Gulper. <laughs> Slobber Trap. <laughs> Wolfgang. Yeah, Max and that 70% of all second hand traps have Doom Raiders. It, it it makes sense. Why I mean why wouldn't you put Doom Raiders in them? Except for Sheep Creep. Sheep creep. <laughs> Evolve Sheep Creep. Awesome. All right, um, is this one? A, no, Tech Flying Helmet has potential. Sure. So yeah, I need to double check uh, the Life Toucan and the Water Log Holder to see if they're the variant versions. The rest of these should just be fine. Dr. Crankcase. Another Doom Raider. I'm Dr. Crankcase. Who are you? So, Brian, I I don't have um, a, a page for broken figures. It, is that something? Do you it, would that be of interest to you? Like, if I had them actually listed up on the site and like a picture of like. It'd be a lot of extra work to take individual pictures of every damaged figure that I come across to show what damage it has. Because um, each of them will be individual listings then. But, I mean, would you be more likely to buy them if you if you had if I just had them all listed on the site like that? Dark Wolf says yes. Scrap shooter. I mean, if that if that makes sense to people, I mean, I suppose it's something I can do. It might not happen tonight, but um, 
I, I, I suppose I could implement that over time. Brave clobber. My fists. All right. Time to check for some variants. Chill Bill. Chill Bill is not the one I need to check. All right, Brawl and Chain, where are you? Oh, there you go. Brawl and Chain. No, that's what I figured. Just a standard trap. How about the Life 2 can? Broccoli guy. Yeah! Steamed broccoli guy! We have a variant. There you go. So that'll be a new variant in the shop. We have the steamed broccoli guy trap. Um, I don't recall if I've had him in there before or not. So I might have to make up his listing. But we'll keep that separate. That is the variant. Um, only thing I want to double check there is see if I can get this. Yeah, th th this light core prism break, I think it actually broke. That's our, that's our second prism broke. So this isn't just like the physical figure itself looks fine, but it does not work. Um, like I'm not even seeing any like damage to the bottom of it where it, when it got the chip might have gotten damaged or something. Maybe it got wet at some point and that that can damage things I know. Um, but it, yeah, it like it doesn't even light up on the portal like it's supposed to. So yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. So that's unfortunate. Um, I suppose that can go on my damaged figures list. But yeah, Aaron says that makes sense. Sure. You're thinking a simple listing of what figures and quantity you have and contact link, not a blown full blown shop layout. Okay, that that is something. That's almost something I could put together tonight. Just a quick like table of, hey, here's all the broken figures. This is the figure. This is what's wrong with it. Let me know. That that I could that that might be a good way to start it. I I, I can start it there, and maybe expand over time, but, um, yeah. So we'll start. Thank you, Brian, for that suggestion. The motion, um, the I think you're right. That that is a good way to st start going about things. All right. So now just a few magic items. I I mean, well, I've never had a problem with magic items, but now that I say that, I'm probably <laughs> I'll probably find something that doesn't work. All right. So that's one fiery forge. How about a second fiery forge? All good there. Dragonfire cannon. It bothers me that they just call it cannon. Like, it doesn't say dragonfire. I, I don't understand that. Then this one, the variant, is called golden cannon. No, that one's golden dragonfire cannon. Like, why doesn't the first one say... I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, Martin, I think you're right. If, it, if, if the bro broken figure thing takes off, it absolutely makes sense to expand. Did that, did that work? I wasn't watching. Okay. Wing boots. All good. Uh, oh, you're going to try to teleport me there, aren't you? Sorry, Eon. Not right now. I'm not going there. But yes, Nightmare Express works. Dragon's Peak. Cool. 
Sunscraper. Hope you work. I really need you in the shop. Cool. Greetings. Along with midnight. Greetings, Portal Master. Cool. Yep, that worked. Good old healing elixir. Looks good, looks good. Hand of Fate's all good. Two copies of Sparks today. So there's one. And there's two. And Bill Ray. Yeah, Martin, I, a lot of these at the right moments. But yeah, the time twister is, is, is pretty nice. So there's the hidden treasure we got today. All right. Um, oh, we got two hidden treasures. So there's the second one. Sky Diamond. It's got a few more level pieces to test out, and we should be good to go. Man, we got all four. Um, or no, that's Swap Force. I was going to say we got all four uh, Trap Team levels, but not quite. Got the two expansions, got Nightmare Express. We did not get uh, Mirror of Mystery. Awesome. So there you have it, folks. That is it. That is the first two boxes from our unboxing coming back from vacation. Um, there are the two big boxes. I like I said, I still have six more boxes on the floor that I need to be that need to be unboxed. Um, and we will get to those tomorrow. Tonight, I'm going to focus on getting everything you just saw tested up on the shop. I will post on Twitter when I get that all updated. So thank you for sticking around, and um, I'll hopefully talk to you tomorrow. So I'm going to get going. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, when will the shop be updated? As soon as possible. Um, it, in theory, shouldn't take me more than like two hours. Um, so I, I, I'm hoping by 6, 6 p.m. my time, 6, 6 p.m. Central, Um I would say no later than like eight. If you if you log back on, then sure. Um, but yeah, 
it, it'll take me a couple hours to update the database and then I'll, I'll, I'll post on Twitter when I got it done. So, all right. Um, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon and, um, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.